TV Tuesdays. Let's just get the elephant out of the room so that we ain't got to talk about it no more throughout this two-hour broadcast. I just threw a hissy fit. And you know why I threw a hissy fit? Because we're running late. All my stuff is done. I got the post up. I got the Facebook stuff up. I got the Twitter stuff up. The final Jeopardy question comes on. Something that Boone thinks he knows, and he says he knew it. I got but it. Anyways, so Who I, we said to you, I said to you, <laughs> I said to you, we're running late. <clears throat> Go! Yeah. Put your Facebook shit up. You sat there, and you said, oh, what's that? And I, I, I think you were doing it on purpose. I was. Because I told you to get on the computer and put your fucking Facebook shit put up. You're on my desk. So and it didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. He just stood there, and he, oh, what could it be? What could... So I slammed a door. I came out. I brushed my doors. teeth. Yeah. Like a, the one didn't slam. Okay. I tried to slam it, but it didn't. So that probably <laughs> it made it more didn't mad. work. Right. So it made me more angry. So I slammed a couple of doors, and thank God when I was done brushing my teeth and taking a piss, I had to be sitting there for done. two minutes waiting on you. You weren't sitting there for two minutes. Okay. Fuck out of here. Yes, I was. So yeah, we got a lot to talk about, man. What do we got? Uh WrestleMania what else? 31. Uh, I found. What did I do with it? Predictions, right there. Is that not that? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Let me grab those real quick. Um, I'd rather not run down predictions, to be honest. We had predicted about the exact same thing, and we had one match that we disagreed upon, and it was the Divas match. Yes. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we'll get into that uh, here in just a little bit. So we got our, our WrestleMania predictions. Let's talk about this. Going into WrestleMania, not one of us. You and I came on here every week. We said it doesn't feel like WrestleMania. This card sucks. Yeah, no, the build-up was trash. I stand by that, but yeah, I know where you're going. The build-up was trash. Uh, some of the matches, I mean, the ladder match going in, I thought was going to be awesome. I thought, uh, you know, I thought John Cena Rusev was going to be pretty good. I thought the main event was going to be pretty good with Roman Reigns and, uh, and Brock Lesnar. Um, but, man, coming out... Of WrestleMania 31, you gotta give credit where credit is due, and I'll bring this up right now. You and I were watching Raw last night, and you said that it was one of the top three WrestleManias of all time. That's right. Which, which yeah. I don't agree. You said it was number three. I would put it number. Th- I put 17 number one, 19 number two, and uh, yeah, that one is number three. Although I mean, I haven't really sat here and like thought about. Yeah, 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 you would have to go back. Yeah, that's yeah. a really example. Thirty-one, thirty them. different shows. Yeah, well, yeah, last yeah. night was one, but uh, Sun- yeah. or Sunday night, but yeah. uh, yeah, no, I thought it was damn. Good. It's definitely top five, and just off the top of my head, I'd say top three because the only two that immediately come to mind that would be better would be seventeen. Seventeen, I know seventeen. Yeah, nineteen was Seattle, uh, HBK, Shawn Michaels, uh, Stone Cold Rock, last okay. match for both of them. Right. Brock Angle, where Brock did the star press land on his head. Right. Uh, right. Fucking triple. It was a bunch of cool shit on that. I one. will. I'm, I'm not. Listen, like like you, I would have to go back and and watch every WrestleMania, and I'm not good with numbers or history. Yeah. But and my memory I, sucks, so I could be wrong. But. Mine too. But I would say top. Ten of all time. Have you seen ten years? Oh, nice. I've been doing this for okay, seventeen yeah, okay. years now. So yeah, uh, but but I would say top ten, and it may be like I I I don't know. I I I'm I'm really bad with numbers in my memory and things like that. But I would say top ten. I don't know about top three. It was good. It was yeah, good. Yeah, I see a lot of people saying WrestleMania three in the chat. WrestleMania three was historic as hell. But if you watch that show right now, start to finish. It wouldn't even come close to what happened on Sunday. It wouldn't even be really? in the same ballpark. Well, it's like every match. I don't think there was a bad match on that show. No, there wasn't. Um, from top to bottom. And and I, I'll tell you what. When we came on here on Saturday afternoon for the 4 o'clock show that we did yeah. and gave our predictions, uh, it started to feel like WrestleMania. And then especially on Sunday... Uh, it really felt like WrestleMania, just with the amount of news. Well, that's what we said that on Saturday. We said it doesn't feel like WrestleMania as far as excitement as a fan goes, but it definitely feels like Mania as far as work goes, because it got busy as a hell. Oh, but, it got yeah. busy. It got so busy. It's still busy. It's still crazy, it's yeah. still busy. And traffic on Sunday really picked up. And I what had people need to understand, sorry to interrupt you, the, that what's unique about you and me in this case is that unlike every other website that has staffs full of people, we do it ourselves. 
Born and 100% right. you for all your stuff. 100% me for all my stuff this week at least. It, and, uh, and MMA, we do, you know. There, there are times, I, I mean, listen, l- like you said, you and I do it by ourselves. So, yeah, are, are there times where other websites are going to have something before I have it up on the website? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not my much. I can tell you an example of a couple of different big websites on the Internet where there is one guy that posts news, and that one guy has three different people under one account. Yeah, pretending to be him. Pretending yeah. to be him. There are three guys posting on that one account. I don't I'm doing agree it. with that, but I know I'm who doing I it. think it. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing it all myself, yeah. and Boone is too. So I mean, that's including we play, play, by guys, play. Yeah. That's including we, the cropping of the pictures and the writing of the articles. And right. The promoting right. of the website and all the social media, Facebook, Twitter. I mean, I'm talking Facebook, MMA, Twitter, and That's all me and you. Yeah. <laughs> that's all you and I, man, you know? But, um, yeah, so it's it's been been pretty crazy. Hey, did you see the photo of Sting and the Undertaker at the airport last night? Yeah, I put that. Yeah. And there was the one with Michelle McCool there, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there was We had two of them. I yeah, put it two was uh, Ranjit that sent them to me. I don't know. Ranjit yeah. sent me a tweet. I put the tweet up on, uh, on WZROnline.com. That's a pretty cool photo. And then last night, uh, after Raw, Sting came out, cut that promo. I thought that was uh, awesome. But it wasn't that good, but I loved it when, well, you know what? Sting said, you know, whatever WWE puts on the table for me, I'm down. He's willing to do I'm more, yeah, but he thinks he's done is kind of what it's... See, that's, that's the impression I got. Yeah, he thinks he's done unless they want him to do something else. You don't think well. they're going to do Sting Taker at WrestleMania next year? I thought year. when... I mean, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves yeah. here, but because Triple H won, I would assume they're going to do a rematch. So Sting can uh, get it back. Yeah, I don't see the yeah. only match at ever. Point. Yeah, because they like we said, like oh well, like I said, I said it was the WWE WCW match. You said it was the sledgehammer baseball bat match, but during WrestleMania, it really became the WCW WWE match. That was the full pro- like on the commentary. During WrestleMania, it was a WCW burial. Is what that's it was. my point. Yeah, <laughs> and that's where I was getting to because you know, all right. So I don't need to explain. It was WWE WCW. Yeah. Then you had the WWE faction help Triple H DX. They should be faction in the go, right, right, right. and then uh, the announcers, all oh, WCW, the money, and then they shake hands to end the war at the end and all that. But right. Triple H had to win because of the way it was promoted. Right. Because WWE's not going to lose the WCW. WCW. Even and though they're all WWE. That, guys, but yeah. you had said that going in, and I disagreed with you. I said no. I think they're you going got more the gimmicks. Yeah. I think they're going more towards the bat versus the sledgehammer, and they did do well, that. Obviously, that'd be part of. They it, did right. do that during the match where Triple H went under the ring, and then and W. W.O. comes out and hand sting the bat. Yeah, you know they they, they and he did broke that. The sledgehammer in half. But and the sledgehammer was the finish. Yeah, yeah. You were you were you were more right though. Is they built it up in as as WCW yeah. versus WWE, and they're not going to have WCW win Never. on WrestleMania. But then it comes down to all right, it's Triple H. The politics come into it. It's WrestleMania. I'm sure that's how it's he sold Triple it too. Like, oh, we're promoting this yeah, as the last man. battle of the war. How can we <laughs> lose the final battle? Right. You right. Know, it's right. almost like you say, yo, that we might have won the battle, but they won the war because Sting beat Triple H. Sting beat so Triple stupid, H. It's so stupid. It's yeah. politics. It's politics it's is, is what it Triple is. Triple H being a smart wrestling mind. Yeah. Hey, right off the bat, um, uh, WWE NXT star CJ Parker, who they were doing a lot with as of late on uh, on television, was kind of getting a push, uh, requested... Should have transitioned from the... the I want to get the breaking news out of the way. Well, the NXT from Triple H. Yeah, yeah, do yeah the, uh, do that. The three guys were the soldiers. Who is it? Solomon Crow. Solomon Crow, Enzo Amore, Enzo Amore, and... and uh, uh, Drake Younger. Drake Younger. Where the, there were three NXT and guys dressed up as Terminator soldiers. You know what I like about it is Solomon Crow has been out with an injury. Yeah. Well, he Drake, recently came back a couple weeks he ago. He recently came back. Yeah. Uh, just pretty recently. Drake Younger, who was a great <coughs> talent on the CZW indie scene. CZW and all that. Yeah. CZW, right, has been limited to a referee role. He's not wrestling at all. Yeah. So it was almost like in Enzo, I mean, there's he's been on television every week, so he's kind of the exception to this. But I would have liked to, to have seen Corey Graves as well, a guy that was forced into retirement, but he was on the kickoff show. Yeah, so panel, yeah. he got his WrestleMania mania moment. NXT guys that were injured or not able to do what they want to do, yeah. in the case of Drake Younger, which is wrestle, they were able to at least 
get the shine of the show. WrestleMania yeah. a little yeah, bit. They used to, you got to be in front of the crowd, get a paycheck to be right, there. You right, know, yeah. They could have taken any NXT talents that we've well, seen they hired that people are there. From the casting agencies. They didn't even right. need NXT guys. Right. But I guess they wanted it like Triple H, especially for you know for his entry. You know, he wanted to help the guy right. that he works with so closely. Yeah, I, th- I thought it was cool. <coughs> I thought it was cool. Yeah. Not only that, but that NXT. He did it last event. year too. He had the the, the, yeah, the deep instead of the guy. Charlotte, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sasha Banks was there as well. Sasha Banks was originally scheduled, we believe. She was talking about like she was going to debut on Raw yeah. last night, but uh, it didn't happen. So, anyways, let's get into it, man. Uh, I'm going to get the plugs out of the way. We got to get. I mean, it's such a big show. Yeah, we tonight, got the Hall of Fame, uh, Mania, Raw, SmackDown taping tonight, although it is going to be a late night. I didn't think about that California, until right now, yeah. but California. Ooh, yeah. What's funny, you too. You keeping the beer? I just still want the beer? Yeah, I'm not in a good mood there. I'm uh. just like doing all the work. But, uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, I didn't really... Did his hair up and that's it. Put yeah. the gel in there and that's it. Well, if I had a hat, I'd wear that, but I don't have a hat. <laughs> um, no, I was going to say the, uh, the, the, the shame, well, the Raw crowd was insane, WrestleMania crowd was insane, but what's funny is they weren't even the best crowds of the last three days. Because the final stop on the UFC 189 World Championship oh, Tour boy, here he goes. took place today in Conor McGregor's home Conor McGregor. of Dublin. <laughs> and I'm telling good. you right now, 3,000 fans in Dublin made way more noise than 70,000 did at Mania. So what you were laughing about was Conor, was Conor saying shit today. Aren't you laughing he's at him? He's nuts, man. It's, he's, he's, he's the, put it this way, he's the best pro wrestler in the business right now. I heard he's coming for uh, Dos Anjos. Yeah, he said the man is next. He said, yeah. I'm going to kick this Brazilian's <laughs> ass, and there's another Brazilian pussy I'm going to beat up. And, like, he's in the stare down. Like, I haven't yeah. seen any he's of his stuff. The, oh, tell me all so the, good. They're tell me the all the down. time. They're in the stare down, and, and, and he's telling Dana, let me a little closer. I want to smell all those pussy. Come on. <laughs> you know, and then fucking during the middle of the press conference. What does Dana do? Dana, Dana, Dana laughs? He laughs, and he tries to keep him apart, which he's had trouble doing. <laughs> um, they actually got into it again today. Do you think that's going to be one of the highest... Aldo, uh, White's predicting it's going to be the biggest show of the year on pay-per-view, and it's already going to be the second biggest gate in history. When's that? In about three months? It's, Jul- it's two days after my birthday, so oh, that's really? my birthday. Nice. Birthday. July 11th. Nice. Yeah, International Fight Week. It'll be All in right. Vegas. But, All right. uh, yeah, t- today, uh, Connor stole, you know, they had a bell on the table in front of him when they're in the press conference. Somebody, some fan got the crowd all riled up, and they're chanting Connor, and Connor just walks up, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, give me that belt, bitch. And then Aldo gets up and goes after him. Dana, whoa, really? shit. A bunch really? of guys come in to try and separate him. And it was a fucking scene. Really? Man. That wow. crowd was nuts. They were fucking nuts. Connor knows how to sell a fight. He is man. amazing. You gotta give He is him. amazing. Okay. Is there anybody that, let's say, I mean, Connor is clearly going to be around for quite some time. Yeah. I hope he wins, is man. there? But is there ever going to be a guy that... He says, I respect you, I'm not going to talk shit. Or is he the type of guy that, listen, every fight, you're going to feel my wrath. But I've never, he's had you, four you, or five fights in the UFC, and he makes each one of them personal. He, he finds a he way. He makes it yeah. personal. Right, he yeah. makes it personal. I don't think he would like ever have. Even when he fought like Brian Stan, it was like, oh, I voted for him for president. He's respectful. an American hero, right. he's a war hero. Right. Connor will find something. And, something. And they'll make it entertaining. And make it personal. He's good. Right, right. All right. I'm going to get the plugs out of the way. For those of you guys that are new here tonight, we are here every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time, WZRonline.com. Every Tuesday, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. If you guys like what you hear tonight, come back every Tuesday, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. By the way, our good friend Jacqueline, yeah. not a happy camper. She had tweeted me about where was Rusev. She's not happy. Yeah, yeah. She's not happy. And we told her for weeks. And we oh, because he lost. And oh, okay. okay. That Cena was gonna defeat Rusev, and she wasn't having. Was it. Was he on Raw? She wasn't having it. Uh, I know Rusev, Lana wasn't. Was Rusev? Rusev was on Raw. What did he do? I Rusev can't was on uh, on Raw. Uh, Lana was oh, not he there. Squashed he squashed somebody. Goldust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Goldust. Okay. Yeah, it was a very quick match with uh, with Goldust, and Lana was backstage. But not used. Earlier in the day, I didn't know that. we had put up that she was not backstage and that she had gone to film again. But uh, yeah. she was there. They just decided not to use her. And you put up something today, Vince McMahon. Yeah, he's supposed very to be high. He's, yeah, he on, wants uh, to do some Lana. cool shit with her, supposedly. All right, the official website of WZR TV Tuesdays. We're here every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time is WZRonline.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army. Go to YouTube.com slash WZR Archive. We're on Twitter as well. All you got to do is go to WZRonline.com. Top navigation bar. Drop down menu. Social media tab. 
It's got all the links to Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. WZROnline.com, the official home and website of WZR TV Tuesdays. Live chat room on and in progress every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. How can they get there? They can go to www.wzronline.com. Dot com. Motherfucking dot com. Slash chat. WZROnline.com. Slash chat. Lots and lots of people in there as always tonight. Chatting it up. Talking WrestleMania. Talking Raw from last night. WZROnline.com. Slash chat. WrestleMania. Top to bottom. You don't want to. Full letter grade. Alright. You don't want to. I, I don't want to. I know we do got it. very hard. We got to cram a lot in. Yes. I think we got to at least mention some of the cool Hall of Fame shit. I think. Do it. First thing that comes to mind is Bushwhacker, uh, well, Luke? Butch. Was it Butch? Butch. Butch. It was Butch. Man, he's a nut job. But it, it, he, he's like your cranky old grandfather was that's amazing. spunky and on cocaine he, and all he, hyper. I mean, he dude, was nuts, man. He was amazing. He was awesome. That was the highlight of the Hall of Fame. And there was a lot of me. cool things. That, that was like, it's like a mini version of WrestleMania. WrestleMania on paper didn't seem that great. Yeah. Pulled up, mm. He the Hall of the Fame 2 was kind of like, God, there's not that anything really great to look forward to at the Hall of Fame. It was an amazing Hall of Fame ceremony. There was a lot of cool shit. <laughs> I thought Medusa was great. I thought, I mean, off the top of my head, I'm going to have trouble remembering all the people. But, like, almost everybody had some cool uh, shit. Medusa. The Connor thing was the saddest thing I've ever watched in my oh, fucking life. God. I cried I three times. I know. I God, cried. I'm to admit it. I cried. And uh, I cried. Yeah, the Medusa thing was awesome. And the moment with her husband in the audience, they let him come back. What's, her, what's her beef with Arn Anderson? <clears throat> There is no beef. I just think it was like a, a funny thing. It's a that, joke. That yeah, really? she's, she. I guess she's. He's Arn Anderson's. I guess somewhat of a tough guy. Right. Or at least he definitely carried himself as such. He uh, said something like Arn Anderson. If you come up on the stage, I'll kick your ass. If right you remember now. during the introduction, uh, Natty Natalia. Yeah. She was like, oh, I hope Arn's not mad at me for this, but yeah. this girl's so bad, she's the only girl I can think of that scared Arn Anderson out of her room. <laughs> right, 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 So Medusa right. kind of readdressed it during her speech and kind right. of told a little bit more details of the story about how, I guess, she, I don't even remember, but she kind of backed him down or punked him out or just did something to intimidate him. One of the cool things about Medusa and her Hall of Fame speech was, at the very end, she says, look, like when we came on here, the elephant in the room is... The WC or the WWE World Heavyweight yeah, or the women's uh, title, women's title. Yeah. and she threw it in the trash can. Well, she brought that out and says that it's the Hall of Fame. The WWE title is finally back yeah. home she where it belongs. Pulled it back out of the trash can. Pulled it back out of the trash can, and it's back home where it belongs. So that I was the whole that reason was... they had her do it, by the way. Right, right. Uh, I thought the highlight of her thing was the husband. Uh, he's in the military, and they let him, and he's supposedly like this nuclear oh, yeah, guy, he badass. Came home. He came home, and they right. let him, and they weren't letting anybody home, but they let him home to be part, that was cool. you know, to honor his that wife cool. in the ceremony. So. Um, Butch, Butch, uh, Bushwhacker, Butch, Bushwhacker, yeah. boy, say that. Bushwhacker, Butch, Butch is what you'd call him. But, um, boy, and he kept turning to Cousin Luke, he says, well, well, Cousin Luke, you know what they told me, well. That's, that was, that's how they talked back in the day. It was yeah. awesome. Day. And then they did the, uh, the Butch, the, Butch did the thing, lick and, yeah. the, and the whole thing. And they actually thing. called up a bunch of different legends, like now, Brett and, Here's uh, the problem I had what? with that. When the legends came up, yeah. everybody did the thing. And then, and then... Even Brett did it. Brett did Even it. He Brett begrudgingly did it. Did it. Who was like the Piper had a great time doing it. Brett was kind of like, I don't want to do it. Who was the last guy that they called up? I thought everybody didn't did it. Do it. Everybody did it except for the last guy. You're gonna have yeah, they help called me out up. The chat room, help us in the chat. Every even Brett Hart. I was shocked. A lot too, but I was shocked to see Brett do it. I said even Brett did it. But the last guy was I think it was Piper. No, Piper was the first guy and he did it big time. Okay, he was All playing. Right. Piper too. did it. Yeah. The hacksaw Jim Duggan didn't okay. do it. He didn't dude. do it. He didn't do it. What a prick. And I said, "You got it. Why isn't and he?" He's doing our hometown it? guy, Glenn Falls. Glenn Falls. Yeah. Everybody else did it except for hacksaw Jim Duggan. And I said, "What the fuck?" And that's he had a that smile. would be the one you would think would do it. Think, he's right. the biggest goober. Oh, right. you were so, and he, you know. And he didn't do guy. it. He didn't do it. And it was yeah. like, man, you kind of ruined the moment. Everybody else, even Bret Hart. Bret Hart. And you can tell Bret didn't want to do it, but everybody it. before him did it. And Bret was like, I'm not going to be an asshole. Exactly. And he kind of half-assed did it, but he still did it. Right. You know? Right. Um, as far as, uh, Connor, uh, Connor, I almost said Connor Mahalik is, I thought it was Mahalik, but, Mc yeah, right, it's not, it's like Mahalik, they, they, they were doing like a silent Dan Give it up for Daniel Bryan, kept it together, he, he, I he thought cried. he was, he cried a little bit. 
the part but that he was, got me. He was very good. Dana Warrior before Daniel Bryan did a great right. introduction talking about Warrior, her kids, and the Connor stuff. Right. Daniel Bryan did an amazing job. And the then father the was father, nervous. The father was definitely not a public speaking major in, in college, but he had his written down thing, but, and he read it, and it was very heartwarming and but nice. He's, he's nervous. He's out there in front of 15,000 yeah, people. He's not a people. celebrity. He's, he's not on TV. Right. You know. here's, here's the part. The father said... It, it, it makes... Uh, the father said, this is Connor's little brother, yeah, that and he has something suck. to say. And the Sucking kid got on the mic, and he, said, and he said, and he said, Connor, just want to say I love you, or something along... Dude, yeah. I I fucking lost it. It was, it I was bad. I fucking lost bad. it. I, I keep saying I, like slang things. It was bad in the sense that, oh, it hurt. It was... Dude, tough, like, I it was kept tough it to together. I kept it together. Even with Daniel Bryan, I kept there it together. There you go. Mahalik, that's how you say it. Kept it together, and a little brother comes up and says, I love you, Connor, or something like that. You're the world champion of my heart, or something like that. I forget what he said, but oh, it, was, it was touching. Dude, it... Uh, um, Nash. I thought Nash. I came out here on Saturday now. Yeah, came out here on Saturday, that. and I said that Nash is going to be boring. It's. I thought Nash was okay. And then you knew that they were going to have the click. Come out on stage. Yes. You knew that was going to happen. We talked about that on and Saturday. And that's his whole life. God, <coughs> I'm the reason everybody's making money. I changed the biz. Like, he was really self-congratulatory. He was. I mean, he made Bret Hart look like a modest person. You know what I mean? No, he did go in as Kevin and, and not Diesel. That was And why. he mentioned that. He, he mentioned that. He refused to fucking go in under the character thing. Is that what it was? He wasn't going to do it. He flat out said that he, I'm not doing it. Blah, 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 blah. So right. They did, they did something to piss him. I think it was when they suspended him. Because of the thing at Christmas Eve or whatever. Speaking whatever of it was, pissed him off, and he's refused to do it. And then they tried to get him to do it, and I think he said, "I'll only do it if I can do it under my real name." And Sean, um, you know, inducts me. Maybe we can not do rapid fire and do WrestleMania because there's a lot of stuff. Here's yeah. another thing. Speaking of pissed off, I can't, you haven't even mentioned Macho and Lanny yet. So. We're, we're gonna do yeah, that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get back to this. Okay. But speaking of pissed off and. WWE pissing people off. It was Steve Austin. Oh, I thought you were going to go to the uh, the Michael Cole injury thing. It made me sick. That was disgusting. All right, I want. We'll talk. We'll go. go that's on Raw. We'll go in order. The right. Steve Austin thing. I'll let you tell the story because no, 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 no. I I think you have something there. All right, uh, Randy Savage and Lanny Papa. Yeah. The deal with Papa, he came out, and I understand that his whole thing over the years is poems. That was and, his char- the genius character was the, the poem. genius yeah. in, in writing poems. And he's gay. Is so, he gay? Yeah. Is he? I'm not like I'm not making a joke saying no, like, oh it's okay to like poems. He's a homosexual. He's I didn't know that. All right. Stuff, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to say it in a little offense that people know. Um, a homosexual. What did you What did you think of that, <coughs> uh, Hogan? First of all, I'm not sure he's first, in the closet though, but it's like supposedly a well known thing that he's gay. The first words <clears throat> out of Hulk Hogan's mouth were something along the lines of, you know, when you're great friends like I was with the Macho Man Randy Savage, you know, uh, dude, bro, Hogan and you were never great friends. Yeah, they friends. were. Yeah, they were. I mean, they maybe were, they, they, maybe were, they were. They were great friends. In the they, latter years. No, they were great friends very early on. Okay. Like in the 80s. But from Randy like, hated like, Hogan. Yeah, didn't Randy he? blamed them for the divorce with Miss Elizabeth and all kinds of shit. And they went from being great friends for like a couple of years to bitter, bitter enemies for like decades. Right. Supposedly they made up at the end, but that's a story Hogan tells that nobody can confirm because he's dead now. Right. And by right, the way, right, there's right. a lot of people in there saying that, that uh, he's not gay, the Lanny Puffo. Yeah, I, I could swear I heard that dude was gay, like, by a lot of, like, it's a well-known thing. No, Patterson's huh? gay. Yeah, Patterson, you know that, and, uh, and the, what the fuck's his name? Uh, God, I'm not going to get it. Anyways, yeah, go ahead. Garvin, uh, Terry Garvin, I think, is too, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I think it was part of that Donnie Papa thing. thing. But anyways, yeah, but, go ahead. So, what, I, I mean, Hogan, Austin, so. Hogan kept it quick. I mean, that was... Well, they were running okay. short on time yeah, right, when they got right, to those at guys. At that point. Yeah, because everybody, like Medusa went fucking forever. Larry Zabisco went fucking forever, and he was, like, forgetting half his speech as he was talking. Uh, Larry was in <coughs> Larry Land or whatever. It's funny, because that's right? the thing. Larry Land, was Larry Land is the whole thing, but Larry just was... 
completely lost. Uh, I mean, it was the feedback almost... I heard that people thought he was one of the highlights. And I'm like, really? I thought it was boring as shit. He, he just and, he, and he, I loved. Like, I told you guys on the pre-show I, that was the first thing that, according to my mom, the very first words I ever said was, and she would always mock the West, Larry Dabisco. Right, right, that's right. how I said because they gave me wrestling <laughs> dolls and stuff, and that was my favorite doll to play with, I guess. But yeah, so I love Larry Dabisco. I thought it was atrocious. Listen to him stammer and stutter and trying to remember his shit and it repeat. Was a, it. Oh, I was in his backyard, Bruno's backyard, and blah, it was. Trying to come on. It was a living disaster. Oh, you're oh, trying to do a living sucks. legend play on yeah, words there. Right. But anyway, he just got lost, and he even said, "Boy, man, when you have a scripted promo and you just lose your train of thought." Yeah, or, he addressed or, it. Yeah. <laughs> right. But he went on and on and on, and that's what made it even more. Ugh, you know. But to but, their uh, credit, though, at least. Which sucks because when they got to the people that the people care about the most, you know the the, the Savage, the Nash, the, those guys, that then they were like being strict on time. But for that the first two hours, they were just letting people. Because we were talking on the pre-show about how they don't let people just do it, their thing anymore. They give them time limits and they're very strict about getting them out of there when they're right. going too long. They were doing a good job of letting people actually have a good bit of time to really tell their story of their career and stuff, which is the whole point of. Right. That is an entertainment thing, you know, as far right. as an honoring thing, you know, whatever. But as far as broadcasting it for entertainment purposes, for fans to see, the whole point of enjoying it is you get to listen to these legends that you grew up on or you've heard of, and mm -hmm. you get to listen to them talk about their career and tell stories, and, you know, you get to be right. in the car with them. But to the dude to the dude in the <coughs> chat room, uh, you know, that's asking, why does Ryan Clark post 10-year-old, you know, photos uh, or photos of 10 year old divas or something like that the a kid in the thing? we do we do galleries on the website <coughs> part of the thing we do news we do galleries and things like that due to the it, it being WrestleMania time the traffic in the galleries the galleries draw a lot of traffic for us on wzrlive.com a lot because people scroll through each photo page so views is what makes money not unique yeah we need we need we get page views so basically what I do is inside not every post but some post I'll put a link to galleries and things like that so we put it up on the website so that we can get page views what I would say to you is if it bothers you read the news two tidbits that are there yeah. and skip over the the galleries link. photos yeah it's you the same as a TV show that offends people nobody, nobody you don't gotta watch it yeah, they nobody, don't have to click the link. <laughs> right, scroll through the picture, change nobody's, the channel, click nobody, a different link. Nobody's got a gun to your head <coughs> telling you you got to click this link or you got to read this. Yeah, if you clicked it, you were probably interested in it. So what the fuck are we even you know talking I mean? about? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody got a gun to your head saying you got to click this link. Yeah. You got to read this news. This that. That's the other a big thing. pet peeve. But that's <laughs> that's the reason why is that you know it it generates page views and things like yeah. that and all of our sites are networked together and we kind of cross promote where galleries are on PWS galleries are on EWN WZR yeah. and, and we we cross promote so you. there's your answer uh, WZR Online dot com slash chat WZR Online dot com slash chat all right no, I said let's you because people always get confused they think we both work on all those sites those are all yours no that's yeah, I, I mean, work on right. different sites completely right, right, right. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on on your sites see I answer the people yeah. you know I don't shy away and that's another thing is the people that are on the comments section that just Rip me to shreds. Oh my god! I'm a, I'm an easy dude to find, <laughs> right? And you're I'm pretty here, interactive. Yeah. I'm here every Tuesday night from eight to ten Eastern time. If you got something you need to get off your chest, give us a call. Yeah. Tell me what's up. I'm. And you not respond hard. to all your emails. You reply on Facebook all fucking day. I'm uh, not I don't hard. do any of that shit. I'm not a me, hard dude to find. If it doesn't pay, I don't play. None of that shit pays. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how much you're bitching and complaining. Like, bitch, someone who cares because I could give a shit. All right, saying. here we go. Uh, let's get into it. WrestleMania 31 from this past Sunday night. We'll kick it off with the kickoff show. It's kickoff show. Makes sense, yeah. right? Kick it off with the kickoff show. So we knew that uh, I thought one match was going to be in hour one. The other match was going to be in hour two. Uh, it they was were both like it in was hour a pre-show for the kickoff show, and then the kickoff yeah. show was the pre-show for Mania. Right. Like they were like right, counting right. down to the second hour when the actual kickoff show started. And then during that hour, they were like, this is the last stuff before Mania. You know, it was like two pre-shows. This is not uh, wrestling. That's an old one? Yeah, you had a full piece of paper. I know, right? Yeah. You grabbed it off uh, there. Let me see. What are, what kick well, it started off, off I mean, the kickoff show had a couple of interviews and a lot of panel talk, but the actual action began in the ring with the uh, fatal four-way tag team title match with uh, Tyson Kitt-Cesaro against 
Ude, Los Matadores, and the Usos. You and I both picked Tyson Kidd and Cesaro to retain. Yes. We said if it wasn't going to be them... I almost picked the Usos, but I changed it. Right. We said that it was probably going to be the Usos if Kidd and Cesaro did not re, uh, retain, which they did. They, they retained. retained. Yeah. Yeah, and they, and good the, match. And we, we both decided that the Usos weren't an option because of Jay Usos' injury. Jay's injury, Which right. they kind of covered booking-wise in the match. At the very beginning, they had like an excuse to get him out of the ring and do like an injury thing with him where he laid on the floor for like fucking five minutes. Right. Know? But he, to his credit, he did a lot of shit towards the, I mean, he was flying all over the fucking place near the end. Oh, we you know what? And, uh, we didn't even mention that part with the Sky Too Hotty getting all pissed off. Oh, the shit. Yeah. You know what? Uh, hold on a minute. Hold, <laughs> hold off on WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. We gotta go back to the three stories of Michael Cole, Steve Austin, and then we'll get into okay. WrestleMania, all right? We won't do rapid fire, but we'll take live phone calls. So okay. if anybody's got a question tonight, because we've got to run down Raw, we've got to do WrestleMania. Lot to cover. We'll also do live phone calls. So instead of rapid fire tonight, live phone calls. Give us a call, and uh, we'll open those up in our numero dos. All right. Um, Scotty Too Hotty came out on Twitter. Yeah, he was pissed. He was run mentioned during the Hall of Fame because Rikishi... Uh, argue, argue, I mean, he had the, uh, what the fuck was it, the, uh, the head shrinkers, he had a million gimmicks that he did, that sounded like somebody got bit out there, but, uh, yeah, that's not good. No, but, uh, nobody's crying or screaming, so yeah. I guess it's alright, but, uh, yeah, no, he had a million gimmicks, for Reggie being a pussy yeah. is what it is, man, probably, <laughs> that's probably what it was, but, yeah, he had this little one SWAT team, WCW, the head shrinker, he had a billion gimmicks, too cool, the one, that's what I was getting to, the okay. one that, the reason he's getting inducted in the Hall of Fame is because he got over as a motherfucker, as the big fat dancing small guy with, with his ass face. in people's yeah, faces. Yeah, yeah, and the dancing at the end of the thing. Right, right. Which right, right. the most popular thing about the dancing was the worm that Sky Too Hotty would do. Brian you know, Christopher. I always liked the, the shovel that Brian Christopher did on yeah. the way to the ring. I thought that was funny. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, and, and and wiping the goggles leg drop off the top. So they had a a, a, a unit, a three person unit that Brian was over. Brian Christopher, Scotty Too Hotty, and Rikishi. Yeah, right. Grandmaster Sexy, Scotty Too Hotty, and Grand Rikishi Sexy, were right. the, 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 the group there. And yeah, Rikishi's pretty much in the Hall of Fame because of that. Right. Uh, you know, the stink face and all that. And That's got, what really got him over, right. Of course. Right. And right. then not only, like, I could see Scotty Too Hotty being a little over dramatic if, like, oh, they didn't bring me and, and Sexy in to do the dance, they let the right. Russos, his kids, who and in, in, in do, inducted him? Right. Do the dance with him, but and he's got a legitimate gripe here. Rikishi didn't even mention his name. He didn't mention it. He didn't even mention his Neither name. Of their names. And I mean, he I went on forever too, like all the other people were talking yeah. about. He had a good twenty-minute babbling thing, and he didn't even bring up the guys that helped make him famous. You're right. So You're right. He, he was kind of. He a, did come across as bitter. And on total Davis, he tweet. comes across as a bad dad too. I know, he comes across as like a, just a total shithead. He does. Which is funny because he's like supposed to be this bubbly, fun, fat guy. But what did you think about Jimmy? Was it Jimmy or Jay that did the worm? I think it was. I don't know. It might, I think it was Jimmy. I, I want to say Jimmy. Jimmy is the charismatic because he's good talking. He's good. He was Jay good. was like fucking nails on a yeah. chalkboard. Like right. he does not right. have charisma. I know. Oh. I know. I know. Like, holy shit! If they well, there's always up. that one. All right. If you're twins or if you're brothers, yeah. You all, yeah. And even as a tag team, look I at mean, look yeah. at the Rockers. Shawn Michaels was it. Marty yeah. Manny wasn't. Yeah. Edge and Christian. Edge was it. Christian wasn't. The right. Hardy Boys. Jeff was it. Matt. What? There's right. always one guy that's the. I think, I think Edge and Christian both had it. Christian was just never. Christian's good on the microphone, Christian's man. Damn, no, no. See, and so was Marty Jannetty. Was good as a ring worker, and right. uh, and Matt Hardy's great character as far as funny, and he's a great worker. Right. But there's always one guy who's clearly better than the other. Right. Right. You right. know what I mean? And Jimmy seems to be the one in that group. Right well, there. I, and I'm talking. I know Edge and Christian aren't real yeah. life brothers, but when you when Edge you are a Hall of Famer who was a, like a ten time world champ, Christian's are, a mid card joke act. When you are real brothers, like even twin brothers, twin sisters, whatever, there's always the one twin or the one brother. It's a little bit smarter or than little, the other, yeah, and different. Like a the little bit more, are more way different, charismatic yeah. as as the other. It's like you and I. Yeah, I'm, I'm clearly the a little bit smarter one, and you're the and the. Whatever you Ladies are. and gentlemen, <laughs> my brother, yeah. Matt Boone, uh, the retarded brother, Thank you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so, all right. So, yeah, Scotty, too, Hardy, listen. Hurry up, get to the point we're running late. Had, had a reason. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> the door and had a, make my point. Had a reason <laughs> to, uh, to gripe about it, but he did come across a little bit bitter on yeah. Twitter, and a lot of people called him out on it. He that. came across as bitter, but he had a point. Now, 
Stone Cold Steve Austin and WWE came out a couple of this days. This is interesting. Came out a couple of days before WrestleMania 31. We talked about on the them. preview show that he was supposed to. They right. had plans for him. They were waiting for him to arrive this weekend, and then they talked to him about it. And they kind of found out when he said on his podcast that he was going to be at his ranch in Texas. He said he was flying back home to the yeah. the Broken, Broken Skull, Skull Ranch. ranch. Yeah. BSR. Uh, BSR. <laughs> um, isn't that a radio show? BSR. BSR. The the guy here. Oh, the B- BS report. Dino UK. Oh, BS report would be BSR too. Bill Simmons. BSR radio. That's uh, Dino. BWR. Oh, British B- Wrestling Radio. British Wrestling Radio. See, I right. actually pay attention to you guys. Uh, but uh, BS report. What? BS BSR report, BWR. BSR. I'm BS report. BS report. That's Bill BSR. Simmons. Yes, Bill. Simmons. So he's a radio show. So you're technically right. right. You just had the wrong right. show. Sorry. Hey, I'm trying to help you be a little right. Uh, there's your free plug, <coughs> Dino, in the uh, in the chat room. He would have got right. wrong. We love right. Everybody, check out BSR Radio from England. <laughs> BWR Radio. There you go. All right, listen. Um, so we found out, like you said, Steve Austin comes <laughs> on his podcast. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. You remember that line <laughs> Stephen Grebay just to remind me of a great rock line about Rikishi. Shut your mouth, you f- you thong wearing fatty. That was one of our drops. Remember when we had the soundboard? <laughs> Shut your mouth, you thong wearing fatty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Austin comes out on the uh, on the podcast and basically says, "Going home, I'm going to watch WrestleMania from the Broken Skull Ranch in yes. Texas, and uh, I'm not going to be there." So everybody's like, "Well, Austin's not going to be at WrestleMania." Yeah, it's in know, California what? where he's in lives. California, yeah, where he's got a home. Yeah. Place. So so this comes out, and then it comes out that WWE had plans for him, like we talked about on the Saturday show, yep. um, and he doesn't show up. And then they announce on Monday Night Raw that next week, following Raw on the they WWE Network, and they replug him announced on Raw. it at yeah, WrestleMania. Yeah. They announced that next week, following Monday Night Raw, Chris Jericho is going to have a live podcast with John Cena. And yeah. everybody's thinking, wait a minute. Steve Austin has kind of a podcast deal with WWE. He got to interview the two top executives. What's the deal? Why is Jericho now taking over? And There's Cena would be the next it. logical now, guy for Austin. Like, you get the absolutely. top executive, the next top executive, right. then the top star. It makes well, sense. he hasn't had Stephanie yet, but you get Well, Stephanie the top on. star is what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, Stephanie would but, be another one down the road. But. So everybody says, well, maybe, you know, they're doing both. Maybe Steve Austin's going to do his podcast mm-hmm. with Chris Jericho. There's more to the story. Well, they just to that. cut in. They had that conference call, which we didn't even talk about that either. But uh, with the network number, but they announced this new long list of programming. Yeah, I didn't see the Steve Austin interview on. No there Steve anywhere. Austin yeah. show. So there's more to the story than what's out there, and the rumors are that it has something to do with Austin's podcast. Where we don't know if WWE wanted creative control over his podcast. But it has something to do with the podcast. And because of that... And it could be he re- rejected an offer to come back or something. You know what I mean? Like, well, we're not going to invest all I, this shit into a guy. Yeah, we... Uh, you know, Jericho comes back. He's got a podcast, right, too, right. and he fucking does stuff with us. But Why don't we put the light on him and not this other guy? Something that WWE <coughs> and Austin were working on, kind of similar to Brock Lesnar, Vince McMahon... It's the confusing, where's the big blow-up coming from? Where did the mm-hmm. blow-up come from? But there was some sort of blow-up between Steve Austin and WWE... It seems like it. Um, ...that prevented him or that prevented him from appearing at Wrestlemania where he took his ball and went home yeah. and said I mean, for I'm a guy not. that lives that close to the fucking show where the show was right why, it's almost like he went out of his way to go Weird. to his other house and not be anywhere Weird. near it you know it's, it's like you would it's think even weird. if he didn't want to do anything he would still go to it yeah like he always goes to the Hall of Fame too you know he would think he would be there and he and he was the guy that nothing. he was the guy that demanded Randy Savage be inducted. Remember when he yeah. was interviewing Vince? So he's yeah. going in, right? He did that whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Savage goes in. Savage goes in like Austin's begging and for. He's not there. And he lives right there, and he didn't go. So there's some sort of issue. Something seems fishy. Some there. sort of issue between Steve Austin and WWE. Now the other thing is we need to get into uh, WrestleMania and Raw. Third thing, and this, this bumps you fucked up. Uh, yeah. Michael Cole. They do an injury angle last yes. night on Raw. By the way, that looked pretty fucking brutal. Do you think maybe it's real and that's why it's not fucked up? Because the reports I heard were it was completely bullshit as far as him being injured. If it's a storyline, it's fucked and up. And that, how the hell would nobody... I mean, even if, let's just say it's a coincidence. Mm. Well, first of all, tell them what the fuck we're talking about. Well, 
Uh, last night on Raw, Brock Lesnar threw a, uh, a hissy fit after Stephanie McMahon said you're suspended indefinitely, which, by the way, is a way to write... Well, no, he he's got, got suspended for throwing the hissy fit. He's got limited dates on his contract. It's yeah. a way to write him off television, which is why they did the angle last night. It was with Seth the Rollins dates. came out to, to defend the title because they had advertised in the opener, and now we're doing Raw, but... uh. Basically, they promised that Brock Lesnar was going to have his first Raw match in a decade, blah, 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 and he's going to get his rematch against Seth Rollins. Lesnar throws a fit. He throws a fit because Rollins comes out and then decides, he gets on the mic and says, ah, I don't feel it, you know, and then and Lesnar tries he's to pissed. get him, and Rollins runs through the crowd. Right. So now Lesnar's incensed, and he's beating the shit out of anybody that moves. He's F5 and cameraman yeah. and, and everybody else, Dylan right? Drake was the cameraman. Dylan Drake was an indie wrestler, wrestler out of yeah. California. So he takes the announce booth and just... Throws it yeah. up against uh, before Cole. the guys had a chance to get out of the way. Booker T, right? Yeah. Then we had Byron Saxton and Jerry Lawler come out to take yeah. over. But WWE.com puts an article up today. Well, hey, F five Cole is where the injury. All right, right. that's where it was yeah. in the ring. Cole lost a shoe, by the way. Yeah, his shoe was still on. Was, was it? Uh, was it him in the camera? It was one of the guys. Joe Beetle tweeted a photo. To see that it? photo? That it's that kind of like tweet. when Mick Foley uh, went through the cage in the Hell in the Cell, and Terry Funk came in to kill time yeah. for him while he was knocked out. And right. Undertaker chokes Terry Funk out of both of his shoes. Right. Right. And there's right, just right. two shoes in the ring. You're like, right, goddamn! Right. Look at the. Jerry well, Lawler, look at the chaos. There's thumbtacks and <laughs> shoes and well, teeth. And Michelle Beadle tweeted a, a photo. It's, it's a shoe in an empty ring. But anyways, so WWE.com puts up today yes. that Michael Cole has a... Well, no, they actually said it on Raw first, and then they reposted it. They, so they did right, it on TV right. in front of millions. In front of the millions. They said he had a, uh, a, a cervical... They wouldn't have known that quick. Well, maybe Cervical vertebrae. Well, it was late in the show. They said he was rushed to the hospital at one point. It was like a Cervi cervical cervical uh, right. vertebrae fracture, which is exactly the same injury that led to the death of tragic Pero. death of Pero Aguayo Jr. was that yeah he had that and that was what has came out of his autopsy. So they actually so and the and the and the and the, and the complaint is <coughs> like all right even if it's a coincidence as many people that read those scripts I mean you know there's like a billion times they go over especially the post WrestleMania edition of Raw. How many right, times they right. probably rewrote that show? Not one person said guys. Can we pick a different injury? This is kind of a touch. Any point. other injury, yeah. a shoulder injury, something. Yeah, something. He broke his foot. That's why his shoe came off. But Anything. The, the exact same injury. Yeah. That Paro had. Come on, man. Yeah, that's fucked Come up. Come on, man. If if Cole's injury is not legit, which ninety nine percent sure that it's yeah. not legit. Uh, we'll come put it on. this way: They were come planning on, on getting rid of the announcers and doing an injury thing with all three of them anyway. So let's say something happened and he really got injured. Yeah. It was still part of the script that hey, he f fives you. We have to explain an injury to stretch you guys out. Here's the injury that we're going to say on the air that you have. We're uh. going to come back with an update and say that he has this injury. So obviously that you was could, part of the script. You can even go one step further with Rey Mysterio, who they're not on the best terms. Do you think it was something that, like that? That was in the I match didn't think with of that. Arrow, and they're not on the best terms with Ray. Like a shithead shot at Ray, like you killed a guy. Oh, Ooh. dude, it's, it's almost, it almost seems... I didn't even think of that. Maybe I'm going too deep. That, that would be a real fuckhead thing but to do. But it's like an inside... I don't, it's, it's like an inside... Joke well, it's a, in not, WWE. Not a, it's not a not joke. A joke What's the but word like I'm a, looking for? An inside knock. Like, we got you. Knock, right. And we're right. the only ones who know it. You know and what I mean? Yeah. We're yeah. taking a shot at you and, and thinking that nobody will even know it. Nobody's, nobody's yeah. going to notice. But no one will put two and two together. We well, all saw the op yeah. autopsy report and what caused the death. They underestimate wrestling fans, which is stupid. <coughs> they should know, especially when you do. Especially now with the internet is popular. That, and when you do shows in front of crowds like last night, I think they should realize, like, even at WrestleMania, 80,000 oh, fans. And every motherfucker in that building knew who Ronda Rousey was. Yeah. Before her name was even right. said, just rock looking at her. Everybody, Ronda, right. Ronda. Obviously, they know a lot more than you guys give you them credit see, you for. You see Chance you know? on Raw where, you know, somebody that's supposed to be a surprise is supposed to come out. And the whole crowd. There's signs. The whole, crowd, chance, the whole yeah. crowd's chanting, we want, you Whatever, know. Whatever, yeah. And then he comes out. Why? Why are they chanting Did that? You because they read it on the internet as a spoiler. I know we got to get really into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But real quick, the chant Raw. Did you hear the, you suck, Cena. You to, suck, to Nikki? Yeah. Yeah, man. The you suck, Cena. Awesome. Oh, man, that's fucked up. They did the wave last night. Yeah. They did. Well, they uh, were editing the David one off. Because they, they started yeah. with, you suck, Cena. And then they went to Natalia, you suck, kid. To right. Bree, you suck, Brian. Well, I guess like, the, they, uh, <laughs> I guess the, uh, you guys, for those, for those that don't know, they mic the Raw crowd every week where there's microphones yeah. around the arena and they mic it. 
Uh, they toned that down last they night tried. for Raw. For Raw. Yeah. Still came through. I mean, clearly they can't get yeah. all unless we, they want to We heard you look stupid out. loud and clear to Seamus. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were laughing our asses off at that one. <laughs> How about Seamus' new look, right? Good no, lord. But he looks all like... Right. He looks like an Irish steroided version of Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. You he won't looks, get the reference, but... He looks stupid. <laughs> he looks dumb. He looks Mixed cross with Captain Lou Albano because of the rubber bands and the beard. All right, if you guys like what you hear tonight, we're here every Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time, WZRonline.com. Right here. Check us out every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. Already talked about Tyson Kidd, Cesaro, New Day, Los yes. Matadoras, and the Usos. We both got that right. Predicted that yeah. Tyson Kidd, Cesaro. There was one cool spot where uh, Naomi and... And um, one of the Usos uh, did a dive to the outside of the ring. I was half watching, half watching uh, a was, lot of it. It was shit, pretty cool. So I, I think it was. Stuff. I think it was Jimmy. Unless Uso. they did replays of stuff, if there was big spots, I'd miss it. Like the, the Orton, Andre, the Orton thing, which we'll get to in a second. Yeah. I missed it when it happened. I'm writing. Really? And then because it was the finish, they showed replays, and I got to see it. Which thank God I did, because right. that was amazing. That was awesome. The curve awesome. into the arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Ooh. We had the uh, the Andre, the Giant Battle Royal, the final three. Came down Real to quick, though, they started with the Axel thing. Curtis the Axel. And they body got right out of hell out of there, yeah. Now, uh, that was cool. That was I cool. I mean, right? Yeah. He's uh, the joke that can't win a battle royale. Now he's though. going with uh, Extreme Rules is the next pay per view. Oh, wait, what is it? Extreme. Extreme Rules. Extreme Rules. Extreme yeah, 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 rules. Yeah, yeah. So that's his new hashtag. He's going to start. How many words have X's in him, though? He's going to fucking run out real soon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I think the gimmick's over now. Well, anyway. he did Axelmania, and there's no action Hawkmania. I, Axel I think he went and did this Axelmania thing, and it caught on with the internet, and they built it, and they hyped it up through WrestleMania. Now that WrestleMania's over, the whole Extreme Rules. I think Axelmania. I think WWE's I think Axelmania was a setup to get an excuse to get Hogan on WrestleMania, and then somebody yeah. came up with a better idea, which we'll get to soon about Extreme Rules. Yeah, yeah, that's a stretch. Uh, come on, that's, that's a cool. big stretch, yeah. dude. All right, so the final three came down to a Big Show, Miz, and Miz Dow. They took out Big Show. Right? No, Big Show won. Or Big Show won. They, <laughs> Big, Big Show won. But Miz and, and Miz Dow Miz Dow had a... Had had a yeah. Right. Big That's, Show just stood there and let them work their bullshit out. Let them do their yeah. thing, and then they had the whole... Yeah. Miz know, demanded thing, this thing. and that, and Axel... Was, or Miz Dow was like kind of like, fuck you, and threw him out. They had the whole thing that we've been waiting to see. Now... I thought last year, Big Show, or one of the bigger guys was going to win, right? Andre the Giant. What is that doing with the Wiz? Would you, keep talking, I'm going to go right, who, right, right. Who, who, would right, you, right. who would you compare, which WWE superstar would you compare to Andre the Giant? The Big Show. Yeah. Right? So, or maybe Mark Rick Henry. Foley. No, some, it's Big Show, like obviously. That. Yeah. Maybe a Mark I, I don't know, something like that. But it made sense to have Big Although, Show. Although, in fact, Big Show, when he first came into WCW, Aside from winning the title in his very first match against Hogan, right? His gimmick was he was Andre the Giant's son oh, in really? WCW. Is that what the it was? The Giant yeah. was Andre the Giant's son. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was Big Show. It ma- it makes sense. You've got a big guy winning yes. the. Andre I'm surprised the they didn't have it doing in the first annual Andre the Giant. That's what I thought last year, and we had talked about it. I, I think remember they wanted to. About they let's use it to push Cesaro instead, and look how long that lasted. Yeah, I know, so. right? Yeah. I don't even think they addressed It's a very it. prestigious thing to win. Cesaro won the first one, and they completely shit on him. Big Show wins the second one, but it was moved to the pre-show. <laughs> like the, Obviously, yeah. it's already a tradition. It doesn't mean jack shit. It's the new Battle Royal on the pre-show. Right. Literally, it's the new Battle Royal. Instead of wearing blue and red shirts for Raw and SmackDown, guys, we just do the Andre Battle Royal. What do you think about this, man? Uh, they kicked it off at the ladder match. I thought yeah, it was a hot right. way to pay-per-view. kick off the pay-per-view. Yeah, they kicked it off at the LL video thing, and then uh, what's-his-face saying America's beautiful, and then... Aloe Black. Aloe Black. Yeah, right. I don't even know who the hell that is, but yeah. <laughs> you know who that is? I, you're I up know on pop culture. I don't, I've never even heard the name. He's a musician Obviously. that sang America the Beautiful. I don't even think he did that good of a job. Either. I thought he did really good, man. Come on, man. There's it a million good. better singers they could have found. I wish they did the flyover. I like the, the plane the jet, Especially with flyover. the opening. Uh, yes. There's no roof. So they didn't can, do it yeah. last year either. But they do the Well, there's flyover, a dome on man. There's a cover on the on the uh, uh, Super Silver or sil- Super Dome. Super Dome. Yeah, there's a dome on that. There's a dome on it. I got it right. But, uh, yeah, this one's wide open building. Dallas, be um, Dallas next year is a uh, closed. Actually, it opens or it closes. So you retractable, can have either. Yeah. yeah, yeah, retractable roof. Um, so this was an awesome match. The ladder match opened the show, and it was, a, it was as good as you thought it would be. It was awesome, man. 
but at the same time, it was it was kind of a money in the bank ladder match at WrestleMania. The seventeen guys doing flips and crashing through shit. It was. I thought uh, I thought when um, uh, Luke Good Harper though. Luke Harper um, took Ambrose and power yeah, bombed him over the over the up. top rope yeah, yeah. through the ladders that they had. That, yeah. was, that was bleeding Sick. like crazy. Tons of ladders in yeah. there. Yeah, a lot of blood in that one too. Dana Bryan, uh, you and I both predicted. Uh, was yeah. going to win that match and uh, Dana Bryan and, we, and our backup was Ziggler and that was the last two they were headbutting the fuck out of each other on top of the that ladder that was cool and they did that last night on, uh, on yeah, Raw they too it, man. they still have New Japan by the way by the, that's where do they, they? all the headbutt no shits yeah. um, but Dana Bryan and you know what every interview that Daniel Bryan we posted a lot of media interviews from Daniel Bryan Paul Heyman and Dean Ambrose they were the three guys that just over and over and over interview after interview yeah. but Daniel Bryan was like yep once I get the IC title, I'm going to bring prestige to it, and I'm going to bring prestige to SmackDown, and it was almost like Daniel Bryan was confirming, before we even went into the match, that, yeah, I'm IC champion. Just call me IC champion yeah. right now, <laughs> because I mean, yeah, I'm but, getting that belt. I mean, he was saying anyway. that, too, but it was his goal to make IC title and SmackDown mean more, and the sub-story coming out of WrestleMania was that they're definitely... Trying to make their secondary titles mean more because yeah, Cena yeah, won, yeah. you know, spoiler alert, Cena yeah. won the U.S. title. So now you got two of their top, arguably their two top stars, Cena and Daniel Bryan, right. as the U.S. and I.C. champion. Right. So they're trying to make them titles mean more because Brock is on the sidelines, although they got rid of that. We'll get into that too. But yeah. So far, we've got three matches to open WrestleMania with the kickoff show that yeah. you on there. Uh, the other thing, real quick, the Andre Battle Royal was mm-hmm. the day with Tommy won that NXT thing to be in it, and they yeah, they, they jobbed, jobbed him out right real the fuck quick. Out. Yeah. I was pissed too. It's a crowd that loves those pissed. guys. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, right after the ladder match, man, went right into. I thought this was uh, better than the ladder match. This was awesome. Uh, so that's four matches right in a row there, man, to kick off WrestleMania. Really, well, really two matches in WrestleMania, two pre-show. Right, 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 right. But the ladder match, and then they went right into uh, Randy Orton and Seth Rollins. Randy picked up the win here, um, and you had Seth later in the night, which that's we'll why get into, yeah. we'll get into later. Well, you got to get the finish, lot. though. That finish was yeah, amazing. Ahead. Yeah, that's so there. basically they built up to a spot where Rollins goes to do the curb stomp, and he leaps in air. And, like, if this is Randy's head, as his foot goes on his head to slam it down, right. Randy pops up, which flings him back up in the air, and right. on the way down, he catches him with the RKO. It was it un- awesome. Bel- you would and never the way th- that they did it, they could have fucked that up. That's, so that's what I was getting ready to say. So like, easy, you could man. do, like, what was the, uh, Sonny used to, who was it? Oh, Sherry Martell used to say about uh, the Rockers, mm-hmm. Shawn Michaels, Marginetti, they would play with wrestling dolls. Mm-hmm. And if they could do something with the dolls, like a cool move or something, they, they would, would try, try it in the ring. ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of those where, A, it would even be kind of hard to do it with a doll and make it look good, let yeah. alone two human beings do that. And they pulled it off flawlessly. How many How many times do you think they practiced that My God. during the and, day? And over and, and, over and over. Practicing can lead to injuries, which yeah. we'll get to here pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. With the face of fear, the new face of fear, but uh, yeah. New face of fear. <laughs> we had, uh, they showed Ronda Rousey in the crowd, uh, which was See, I didn't catch up. that. That's the kind of stuff you miss when you're going to play by play. We yeah. had uh, Ambrose, who was bloody on the back of his head uh, from the... Yeah. Uh, the the well, going to the ladders. Right, power right, right, right. And this is what surprised me, that this was so early in the show. Yes, yeah, Sting and Triple H, Sting man. Triple H. That was, that uh, was, three that was up paper. next. Now listen, man. They kicked it off. I mean, listen. Triple H's entrance, Sting's entrance. Sting's entrance is pretty cool. I mean, they did cool, a little Triple, something extra. Triple H had the biggest, most elaborate We knew it was show. coming, though. They did a whole Terminator thing that we put up on the website. Yes. They tried all week to get Arnold Schwarzenegger to cut that. That last uh, thing, yeah. You know, but Arnold comes on and they do the red eyes thing and yeah, Arnold the computerized said, like he scans the whole roster and then boom he sees Sting and oh mission uh, you know. Arnold Arnold says it's time to play the game. Yeah. And then da na na da na na and Yeah, because the first stuff was the Terminator theme. Right. And uh he's carrying uh, like a handful of skulls on each hand. He's got the big and like metal. They're doing the radar thing yeah. before that. Because the NXT guys were soldiers walking around. Solomon Crow, yeah. um um Enzo Amore and Drake Younger. Right. So yeah, Triple H had an amazing entry. It was awesome. Man. And then we get it to the awesome. match which So they started uh, off oh, uh, you're not the one who disagrees with me, it's Shalik. Mm-hmm. We both thought this was, like, fucking I awesome. I thought it was good. Okay, because Shalik was like, yo, it was so overbooked and this and that. And no, I can see... No, no. I can see that I point of view. It. Right. But a 60-year-old man or whatever, 58, whatever the fuck's thing is... Right. That isn't in great 
great, great shape, and Triple H, a part-time guy that is in 60s. He's like 50s. You know late 50s? I'd say mid-50s. I think he's like 57, 58. I'd say 50 to 55. Really? Yeah, I don't tell I think he's damn near 60, man. I don't I, know about I, that, man. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I'm probably go, wrong. I feel like I'm wrong, but I could swear I heard 58. I go, he does Number 58's look, in my head. He sure doesn't look 60. We don't need to do detail. I remember the match. All right, Let me see all right no doubt. But uh, 55, all right. I, 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 yeah, I'd, I'd go, all I'd right. go but That's still pretty fucking old, man, to be doing a 20-minute match. Listen, you know. They started off pretty slow, to be honest with you. That's how you um, start those matches, and, and, you know, let the crowd get into it. And Listen. When the DX theme music hit, right? And yeah. DX came out, I said, fucking awesome. And you knew... All right, 56 is the right age. He just turned 56. Okay, just turned 50. All right. So he's I, on the second half what? of 50. Yeah. You know what? I was going to go low 50s. That's my honest thought. I was thinking like 50. 20-minute match for a 56-year-old man is pretty hard. He was killing it in TNA, too, when he was there. Week after week, man. I mean, I know they would tape Impact yeah. in advance. He got in good shape for this, though. He didn't yeah. a shirt or any, you know... When DX music hit, okay, and you had Billy Gunn, Road Dog, and uh, X Pac, X Pac, come out, you knew that Sean at least was I a knew. Part of it. You knew. I thought, all right. You did they, not know NWO was coming. I did. I did. I sat there and I watched it. I said, all right, they've got DX out there now for for Triple H with DX. You've got to have somebody. I could see how you could know that. And I knew. I don't think I don't. I'm trying to remember. I, I don't think I expected NWO. I and did. again, I'm so fucking. I I'm knew, in the zone here that I'm not. Really I knew that. I knew that Kevin Nash <clears throat> was backstage at WrestleMania. I knew that Scott Hall was in town for some of the events. Well, I he was part of the click thing on the, on the stage for Hall of for for the Hall of Fame. Yeah, right, so you know he's there, and you know Hogan's there, and and it just it, all right. You've got DX out there for Triple H. Your brain really went through all that. I. Kid you not? And I kid you not. DX I said NWO. as soon as DX was out there, I <coughs> said I know the NWO. Sean, I didn't expect. I didn't. That expect dro- I know that slipped my mind for a second because I at the at the time honestly I didn't even know which DX members were out there. All I heard was the music. Right. And I, whatever the announcers tell me is what I hear, and I don't think they said all oh, DX is here. But Shawn Michaels isn't, you know. Right. He was part of DX. Billy Gunn run into that ring. Billy, Billy Gunn, Gunn has still aged. He could come back dude. and be the IC champ, be one of right? the courses of the company he could. right now. But all right, so yeah, DX out there, they take out, uh, 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 they go after Sting, right? Eventually, yeah, it was when Sting was getting ready. To, no, it was either when he had him in the death drop or the yeah, death right. lock, and DX came out. And right. then when Triple H grabbed the sledgehammer, that's when NWO came out. Right. So NWO comes out. They come out with the bat. They hand Sting the bat. Yeah. We've got the sledgehammer versus the bat thing. Shawn Michaels comes in uh, right after kick. that. Yeah. Well, well super right there was Sting. Sting hit the bat on the sledgehammer, broken half. Right. Right. And now you're thinking the sledgehammer is not going to be used because it's just got broken. Right. Which kind of is trying to throw you off the finish, which throw you involved, off. you know. Sean must have came through the crowd. Uh, he did, yeah. And uh, jumped in the ring, hit the super kick on Sting. Triple H then hit the pedigree. The, one, yeah, two, the three. The same thing they tried to do with Taker and Hell in a Cell, that right. one WrestleMania, where, like, that was believable then. It was the first time yeah. you saw it. Like, super kick right into a pedigree, and right. Sean's the ref. One, two, oh my God, he still kicked that. Right. That was one right. of the, like, right. you right. couldn't believe Taker would lose, but there was that one spot where you're like, like yeah. You really thought, holy shit, he's going right. to lose. Like, you could still believe because right. it was such a convincing setup. So everybody kind of posed at the end, right? I mean, everybody was together in the ring. You had the two different sides. Everybody posed. And that was it. But yeah. another really good match between Triple H and Sting. And they shook Sting hands at 56 can still go. They shook hands, yeah. which was cool. So maybe they're not going to do a rematch. You know? I don't know. I mean, it. Triple H wasn't That's on Raw. I know that one. He yeah. wasn't on Raw. I didn't think about that. Stephanie was. Stephanie was all Stephanie over. Stephanie came out yeah. um, for the. She was all the over thing. the show, but uh, the Triple H was Rock. Yeah, maybe Rock right. Rousey broke Listen, his. You know, whatever. here's what we got to do. We are over halfway through WrestleMania 31. We're gonna come back on the flip side. We're not gonna do rapid fire tonight, but we're gonna take live phone calls. So when we come back on the flip side, we'll finish up WrestleMania 31. We'll open the phone lines. We'll get into Monday Night Raw from last night. I'm not going to do Raw from top to bottom. We'll just kind of do the high points and the low points. Give you guys some backstage news, rumors, uh, stuff from Raw, stuff from WrestleMania, and your live phone calls as well. We've got one hour to go. If you like what you hear tonight, we're here every Tuesday night from uh, from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. Yeah. At <laughs> At WZRonline.com. All right, you guys are listening to WZR TV Tuesdays with Matt Boone and Ryan Clark. We'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere. What? But uh, normally we don't. 
we put the cigarettes out because who knew the kid? But uh, somebody yelled at me for that. Yeah. But, but uh, I watched the archive so, part last week. I was doing this the yeah, whole time, absolutely. so I was being respectful. Not, uh, I don't let him in my room if I'm smoking and and. See, this is why I haven't drank the gold one yet. Cause I'm oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I keep getting better ones. He so. stays out, and we <coughs> have, uh, there's a whole separate section of the house where they stay out, and it's... Yeah, you get a Jacob chain and in the room. And it's smoke-free out there. So they like you, a, buddy. Yeah, good thing. Anyways, uh, here we are for our numero dos. Jacob's going to be here. He just wanted to say hello real quick. Uh, this he wasn't part of WrestleMania. Jake. Give him a key. He word. did. He, keep it. he did. He uh, he watched uh, WrestleMania with us. I was doing the play by play in the background and uh, with all the sights and everything like that. But he yeah, just wanted to. Ah, all right. Buddy. All right. Get on there with that Make keyboard. Sure the camera stays straight. You hit this one right here. It's not hooked up, right? No. All right. No doubt. Uh, so we're back here for our numero dos. We're gonna finish up uh, WrestleMania 31. From this past Sunday, and we're going to talk a Monday Night Raw from Monday Night Raw. last night. Jacob, you guys part of both? Hey, what about John? Who? Yeah. John? Who? What about Ruth? Ruth? How about Hulk Hogan? How about Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan, yeah. Who else? How about? How about Dean. Dean. Who's Dean? How about Dean? And he knows it. He's being shy. Dean. What about what about what about Seth? What, what about Seth? About gold. Oh, gold. Gold. Uh, Here, let's take this for now. What about what about gold? Real quick, and then we got more. What about gold? Gold dust. He he knows them all. He's yeah, just being he shy right now. So anyway, all right, here we go. Get to our live chat room, wcronline.com. Mother effing dot com. <laughs> slash chat. wcronline.com slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people in there, as always, tonight. All right, here we go. Let's get back to WrestleMania 31. We'll finish up Sting vs. Triple H. We already did we that did. before we went to the yeah, break. They shook hands and... Um, they announced eight new shows for the WWE Network. We've got Tough Enough. We've got the Diva the Search. The Diva Search is back. Um, uh, is coming back. they got a right? show with Jerry Springer. Oh. They've got a show produced by Jeff Tremaine, the Jackass producer. Is that what it is? Yeah. There's um, one too hot for WWE, I think. Yeah, I think was, that was that might be one? it. I'm not sure. Okay. It's basically, the idea is, and if, if you want to make this part of this segment here, because we don't need to spend a lot of time on it. Okay. Uh, the network number. Uh, but, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea... Is that a way to get wrestling fans from the past that aren't wrestling fans anymore? They mm -hmm. think it's because of the PG thing. <laughs> Say bye bye. Look into the camera. No. Bye bye. No. Bye bye. You're gonna get to hear a real life fit right there. Yeah. I want to try to continue my point, but I know what's gonna happen right here. Um, basically, they think the PG thing is driving fans away or, or preventing the old fans that love wrestling that don't like it anymore because it's too childish from signing up. So their idea is let's do a bunch of original programs on the network that aren't PG. Let's make them more adult-oriented, more, you know, I don't want to say risque, but more adult-oriented, and that maybe will bring some old fans that used to love wrestling back. Did you uh, reveal the network no, number I didn't. yet? All right. Uh, yesterday, um, we knew this coming out of uh, WrestleMania 31 that they, on that Monday, Vince McMahon was going to hold a, uh, a conference call and reveal the official network number count 1.3 million. It's now. 1.315 is the exact number, I believe. I'll be honest with you guys. When I saw the number originally, when I looked at it, I said, you know what? That's not a terrible number. 1.3 million. Then I got to thinking that you think? if you think about it, over a million people, normally the WrestleMania buy rate is around a million, yeah. you know, 900,000, somewhere around there. When you think about it, you know, a lot of those people, a lot of those million people or so already had the network. So as far as signups are concerned, you're not going to get that many more. Just for WrestleMania. Just for WrestleMania. because yeah, they've so, already got it. Or, yeah. And I think, I mean, the WWE stock dropped nearly $3 yesterday. 
three dollars well, in a, a matter of hours. Yeah. That is insane. It's not that insane if you look it's at it from this perspective. It's not good, but from the perspective that, and this is what I hear, and I could be dead wrong because I don't know jack shit about stocks or Wall Street, but from what I hear, yeah. companies that are public companies that announce numbers that are very integral to people either wanting to buy or sell stocks, a lot of people will buy the stock Right before the announcement, right, and then no matter what the announcement is, sell it because sell it right that's away. it'll be pretty high. Yeah, but it just I, those numbers were not <coughs> what a lot of stockholders expected. And listen, the stock market fluctuates all the time; it goes up and down, up and down, right. And a lot of times, you know, on a daily basis, the stock, say, you know, the stock is at. Uh, eleven dollars and sixty cents you know it'll go up to eleven dollars and eighty cents and then it'll go down to eleven dollars and twenty cents you'll yeah. see like a twenty thirty you know there's like a fifty increase, cent swing increase. dollar swing but yeah. man when it goes a dollar two dollars almost three dollars though even okay when you hour. get to the two three dollars because you gotta think that's per it's share so that means a lot of money was a lot of people sold a lot of shares a lot of sold. people a lot yeah. of people sold off yesterday and think about it People don't buy, I want one share of WWE stock. No. People buy 500 shares, 1,000 shares, uh, the people that I bet are there's loaded. a bunch of marks that bought one share just so they could be at the meeting. The, the people that are loaded <laughs> buy a lot of stocks. Yeah. But if you're buying 1,000 shares of WWE stock and, you know, if you're, if let's say the stock is at $13 or $14, you're taking 1,000 times $14, that's fourteen thousand dollars you know what i mean so when it goes down by almost three dollars your fourteen thousand just became your fourteen thousand just became way less than that so three dollars is that is a big drop now that's not to oh, say eleven thousand then i thought you said that's dollars. that's not to say that wwe stock is not going to go back up or continue to drop but a three dollar drop in one day it's not good it's not good but what the, what's it at today we don't even know do we i don't have the exact uh, number i'd have to go check uh, the nasdaq website but all right um let's get back into it NASDAQ the, website. isn't nasdaq a stock too uh nasdaq's part of the stock market okay. Uh, I, don't, Dow Jones. I don't remember Dow Jones, and I don't remember what's Nasdaq stuff. Anyway, all right. So, let's, uh, by the way, predictions so how much real quick. We know about stocks, right there. I don't know very much. I don't have any. Stocks. If we don't know if Nasdaq is a uh, stock or how you check, you know. We have Daniel Bryan. Uh, we both got that right to win the IC title. We have Randy Orton, and Seth Rollins. We both got Randy Orton. Uh, we both picked him over Seth Rollins. Uh, Sting against Triple H. We both picked Sting. Yeah, uh, and we lost that one. Yeah. Um, Are you sure and we then, I guess, yeah, we both agreed both on everything. We were agreed. One. And then we get to the Bella Twins against AJ Lee and Paige. This is the difference maker right here. Winner, winner. Chicken, Chicken and dinner. motherfucking dinner. My Clark wins. What about steak and dinner with A1 sauce? Uh, you're getting A1 sauce. So- hey! Yeah. Steak sauce. Steak sauce. You didn't tell her? No. That was the whole that point, bro. Sauce for you go. Thank you. I'd have been angry on that one. That was kind of the whole point, right? Yeah, there. that was kind of the whole point. Yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, what else so did listen, we need? Was you had thought <laughs> you had thought that the Bella Twins. Uh, we knew that AJ Lee and Paige. Good they job, had, Luke, they, you did yeah, there. I'm sorry. We had new AJ Lee, Paige teasing tension. I yes. had said it. That's in the past. Now it's AJ Lee and Paige, although they're still teasing tensions. I said they're going to overcome the odds at WrestleMania 31. Everything's going to be cool, and that's pretty much what happened. See, I, I really wasn't paying. I think was you didn't see SmackDown last week. Was this week. before Rousey or after Rousey? Ah, uh, before. We haven't got the Rousey. Yet. Okay, well then I was distracted for some. Maybe I was eating here. The, when oh, I missed like all of Taker Wyatt. That Did was after really? Rousey. Because really? yeah, I, when once Rousey really happened, I had so much work to do that I right. was I was like half paying attention. Just enough to write. I wasn't even really watching anything at that point. This was uh, AJ Lee made uh, Nikki Bella submit to the Black Widow. Yeah, and then Wasn't she that got Victoria's in move. Tara, the Black oh, Widow. Uh, she Tara, got, I Victoria. thought she had like a spider name or something. Yeah, Black Widow would be Black like, Widow. I it. guess so. Yeah, it's a Black Widow, right? But anyway, um, so they kept it short. Um, for a Divas match. Six, you know? It was almost seven minutes. It was six minutes, 40 something seconds. Is that what it was? Yeah. Hashtag give Divas a chance. Yeah. Well, uh, six minutes. Well, the reports were they were going to, instead of bumping the Andre Battle Royal, they were going to bump that match to yeah. the kickoff show. Remember they did that last year or the year before? Well, no, the year before they 
bumped it off the show altogether. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, they didn't even get a free show. They, got, right? they were in their gear and everything, right, waiting to go to the ring, and then right. somebody had to come and say, "Hey, we don't have time for you. Sorry." Right. That's right, kind of right. suck. But uh, yeah, no, they were talking about kicking that show to the pre-show, and then because of the Give Divas a Chance thing. They were like the the, the backlash would be too negative. Yeah, let's, exactly. let's leave him on the Especially show. Especially with Stephanie McMahon coming out saying, you know, we're gonna give the diva. I agree yeah. with that campaign. All right, we had the the Hall of Fame intros. They brought everybody out. Yeah. Nash got his Listen, music. Everybody else got the cheesy Hall of Fame. Ceremony. I care about all that stuff. Yeah. Why? I, I can't figure it out. Howard Finkel should be announced. He did every single. Match at WrestleMania oh, oh, okay. every single year. When Howard Finkel announces the Hall of Fame inductees, you're like, yo, he's so fucking good, man. He is so awesome. It's one night of the year. It's WrestleMania. Howard Finkel announced every match. Lillian Garcia, she's good. It's very she's simple. good. But why? why because, he's the too, because he's too old. Because he doesn't look pretty on camera. If, they, they if he was a good-looking dude, like Justin Roberts or something, yeah, that's fine. They don't want some old, bald dude that's old as fuck standing there in the ring in the background, or when they do a title match and they got to do the close-up on the announcer. They don't want that as their face, their voice. They want a pretty Lillian Garcia, they Spanish don't Mamacita. They do the close-up on the announcer every time. So Sometimes they do. The title match For the main events. Yeah, right. or the main events. But... <laughs> The point being, they see him in the background the whole time, too. So they don't Dude. want that. That's the same reason Jim Ross is not announcing Raw anymore. It's so And Michael petty. Cole is, because so Michael Cole is. He's, like, he's not going to be on the cover of GQ anytime soon, but he's not a big, fat, southern dude with a fucked-up face because of Bell's palsy. So they say, yeah, this old fucking country guy with a shitty accent that sounds like he's from Texas, Dude, we don't want him as the voice amazing. of our company, our New York company. We want this fucking dweeb... Poindexter he, motherfucker who has nice hair, you know, like, that, that's he our should, guy. He should be announcing every WrestleMania match, every year at WrestleMania. I agree. Makes it Dude, ten times better. I'm telling you right now, my whole childhood was, and the new! The right, right, right. Exactly, dude, you would get right. chills, man. I forgot my, uh, I'm gonna have to go get him. But, uh, that's, I'm gonna go grab mine. Alright, I'll continue, go. Can't do the menthols, man. It's They're the better menthols. than shitty They're reds, I'll menthols. tell you that right now. But, They're uh, smoking, kids. Yeah, don't smoke, children. Uh, and don't smoke around children. But, uh, all right, so the next up here on Mania was Rusev versus John Cena for the United States Championship. Uh, Rusev had an entrance that it's kind of fucked up that everybody was such a big fan of his entrance because his was the pro-Russia, anti-American entrance, and Cena's was the pro-American entrance, but everybody was so enamored with Rusev's entrance that it got a lot of positive feedback. He came out on a fucking tank. You know, there's Russian that shoulder. Cool. Like, it was that badass. Was cool, Even though he's waving the fucking enemy flag, like, it looked so cool that you couldn't help but be like, man, that's pretty fucking awesome. Rusev on the tank was, was yeah. really Yeah, and then for cool, Cena's man. entrance, I went and grabbed Little Man so he could watch it because he right. loved John Cena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for the first year in years, he didn't really do anything that I special. thought you said he was in awe. I thought you told he me was, no, no, he, he was, was in awe. awe. I'm talking yeah. about, but it would have been cooler if they did, like, a big elaborate thing. Like, they did a cool video yeah, package. they didn't do very much. I know. They didn't do anything. It was a cool video package, and then he just came to the ring. Like, that after the it. video package, his music hit, he came out, did his salute, ran, yeah. through his hat, and that, that was, was it. it. That Same was as every it. other time, just a longer run. They didn't know, I mean, last year they had all the soldiers or the Cena lookalikes, John Cena. That was you know, years ago, these they Cena lookalikes. But, uh, oh, yeah, really? Yeah. I just showed him I'm every so single entrance in Cena Mania history. When was it they had right like a hundred guys dressed up in the hat? I don't know, the top of my head. It was like 25, 22, 23, it, because I... That long ago? I thought I was what? scared because I knew he used to have the word life. This is basic economics theme. You're right. So when I'm showing Jacob all the Cena themes when I'm babysitting the other day, I'm like, oh, like he wants to keep seeing new because they're so cool looking, especially to a kid. You know, they're big elaborate entry in a big stadium. Going up. 25? So 22nd, 22 was the first one that they did a big special thing as far as YouTube is concerned. And it was still the new theme song. So I, I kept getting worried the further back I'd go, it would be a song. Yeah, it's going to be the worst. It would be a song that he doesn't right, know, right. and he wouldn't get excited for it. But he, each one from 22 on has been like some big, cool, badass thing. They're saying, when when they had all the John Cena's out there, everybody dressed up as John Cena. It was 25, Cena. I think. Cena 25, and we're yeah. 31. God, it seems like two years ago, three years ago. Yeah. He stole that from Eminem, which Time he is. Flies, he stole man. his whole fucking character from Eminem. But yeah, that that entrance wow. was 
on the VMAs one year. It was the I'm the real shady son, you know. Both the real yeah, Slim Shady. Yeah, 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 they all and they came had out all the M and M's. Yeah, yeah white right, T-shirts, right. blonde hair with the fucking making an eye. Ah, he I walks can't. through it like they did the same thing with Cena. You know, it doesn't seem that long ago where they had all the Cenas out there, man. I would say. Three, two, three years ago. That's I mean, it's twenty-five. That's eight years ago, or six years ago. Time flies when you're a wigger douchebag like wow. John Cena. I guess wow. I don't know. What, what do you tell you? All right, um, back to WrestleMania. We'll finish this up really quick. I didn't quick. get to the finish of this. Uh, Cena oh. won, beat him with, and uh, Lana was involved. Uh, she Lana threw her shoe out. in. Uh, another shoe she in the distracted ring. Rusev yeah. to continue to tease tension between on accident, not on purpose. Accident. Yes, right, and right. Rusev knocked her off the apron. She hurt her ankle, and right. that allowed Cena to do the. Uh, I mean, it was a long accolade, long right. STF spot, but the uh, I think it was right. the attitude adjustment. One, two, three. A lot of kickouts here too, man. Yeah, like, so Cena know. became the new U.S. champion. Is the moral of the story there? New United States champion. They uh, Stephanie McMahon comes out. This is where Stephanie this is came where out. we get the fame. Stephanie right and Triple here. H come out, and this is we highlight of the show. It was weird to see. Triple H out there. Just well, not, like, I, I guess not, but he came out like he was in a suit and tie. Yeah, Thirty minutes after, <laughs> it's just what's he, Yeah, he's already cleaned up, showered, wearing a suit. Right, right. He's right. Back to being the businessman. He's not even. I mean, he referenced it a little bit that he had beat Sting. But right. Yeah. So the announced attendance is. It was seventy-six thousand nine hundred. Where is it? Nine hundred seventy-six. Yeah, I got to memorize. Seventy-six thousand nine hundred seventy-six. How's easy to remember? You do seventy-six nine seventy-six. Look at you. Yeah. All right. That's how I All right. It, yeah. So, uh, basically, she says, uh, you know... Uh, they, they basically get to the point where they're talking about how they own the fans. They, they own the superstars. They own the fans. You know, and they always the authority always wins. But we're the said ones that, that put 76,000 yeah. of you guys in this building tonight. Well, they it started for us. down talking the people. Of course, the people's champion has a problem with that, yeah, and The Rock comes out. We had told you guys on Saturday Rock was going to be there, yes. uh, did Saturday Night Live You had a whole on, on report Saturday. on that, yeah. I did put it up, um, and then, alright, so The Rock comes out, and it basically leads to, we'll do the shortened version here, Stephen McMahon tells The Rock, get out of my ring, after The Rock smacks says, him. and then smacks him, and says, Rock, I'm telling you right now, get out of my ring, so The Rock says, you know what? I'm leaving. Yeah. Well, no, so he, he gets out. No, no, no. Yeah. He doesn't say anything. So he leaves, and he gets out of the yeah. ring. And she's and calling him. That's right. Leave. Get out of here. And she's Walk calling up the him. Ramp. And, and he walks around ringside. Well, it looks like he's going to go up the ramp, and then he changes his mind and comes around short, the ring. Short version. So he comes around the ring, yeah, and version. Ronda Rousey yeah. is in the front row. Yeah. And he looks at Ronda and basically says, come with me. Rock gets back in the ring, grabs the microphone, and says, I would never hit a woman... But I know somebody that would, that would beat up a woman. It's for Ronda Rousey. Stephanie says, Stephanie basically said, Ronda, I respect you. I respect what you've done in MMA, yeah. in UFC. Well, she's telling but, Rock, well, we're friends and you don't know that. So right. Yeah, you're right. Ronda, tell him. We're this, tell him. It basically comes down yeah. to you fight in a cage. The cage is yours. This is a ring. The ring is yes. mine. And so how about you get out of my so ring? How about too? you get out of my ring? And Rousey, this one, Rousey, it, it was almost like she had two she lines. Said, she Her, said, yeah. she said, why don't you make me uh, get out of the second line? The first line was any ring I step to into is my I ring. own or is yeah. my ring. And then the second line was, and if you want me to get out of your ring, why don't you try and make me? Is how she said it. And then it's yeah. So yeah, uh, and Ronda's gonna kill you. That it was. You, you're, it, no, it was. It was fine. You're leaving all fine. the magic and color I out of this. I get it. I get it. Short the version, fans. The yeah. fans. The fans were great. <coughs> the fans were. You know, Ronda's gonna kill you. That was awesome. Yeah, like you said. All right, but Ronda's the way Ronda's lying about it up was perfect. Ronda's lying about too. like, like, <clears throat> why don't you make me get out of the ring? Yeah. It's, it's almost like two kids. Why don't you? Why don't you make me go away? Why don't you make me? Get yeah, out you of my started it. Fuck yeah, you started it here. Yeah. So what? Are, you know, if I'm Ronda Rousey, I'd say, "Why don't you make me get out of your ring, bitch? You gotta throw like a bitch in there. So you gotta, you gotta make it. I don't know, man. There were but two bitches in there, Ronda. Why, why don't you make me get out of your? Why don't you make me get out of your ring, bitch? Doesn't that uh, come across? Doesn't that come across more? I throw more a like, punk. Yeah, bitch. I throw a punk before. I why don't you make me get out of the ring, you punk bitch? <laughs> you punk bitch. Oh, I like no, that. Why don't you make me get out of the ring, yeah. you punk bitch? <laughs> Do something like that, but. 
Why don't you make me get out of here? Why don't you make me get out of here, you bitch ass bitch? <laughs> you know? <laughs> get some, on them. Add some life to it, man. Bring it bring up bitch in there. Bring bring something into there. But anyway, uh so they get face to face and uh no, I throw up Rousey. I'm wrong listen, already. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Triple H, that's enough about talking about my wife. Rock right. and Triple H start punching. Rock, tri- Rock beats the fuck out Triple H. Triple H stumbles over to Rousey. She judo throws her. There. And then Stephanie grabs her, turns her around. She did take out Triple H. That yeah. was cool. And that then she cool. grabs Rousey, turns her around, and then when she goes to smack Rousey, Rousey catches her arm, yanks on her elbow, right. puts her in a standing arm bar, and here's, then throws her out of the here's ring. Here's the other problem I have with it. I did that in three seconds. That's a here's short the, Here's the other problem I have with it. All right. Yeah. You do a standing arm bar. You're a punk ass bitch. You do a standing arm bar. Yeah. That's cool, right? But why not why not take Stephanie down here? I'll tell you what. Put on the regular arm bar that we're used to seeing in UFC. They're saving where, it. When they're saving it for, for next year? For the, did you I've heard guess. the rumors they're gonna do yeah, either A a mixed tag or B Rock Triple H with the Rousey and Stephanie ah. corners and even if they're only in the corners that's when you get the full arm bar and the full All right. physical involvement. Maybe. This was just a, a, a an appetizer before the full course meal. All right, maybe this that's the setup. Maybe that's when it happens. Yeah. But when I saw it live, I'm thinking Rousey should have took her down and put her in that full fledged yeah. arm bar. That's that we're giving them used all at once. It is. They like to give just a little tease, save all right. the kill, all right. pay off for the end. You know. Well, then let's hope they do that match. Well, Rousey right. came out and said we're just getting started. Rock co-signed it, so Listen, I mean, you know. I think it's going to be a tag team match. We had Rousey, Suplex, Rock. All right, Triple H or, or uh, Triple H. Yeah, Judo so throw. that sets up Rousey and Triple H. We had Rousey and Stephanie McMahon. That sets that up. We had Rock being slapped by Stephanie McMahon. They gotta do a tag team match. That mixed way, tag, yeah. that way, it's a mixed tag. But that way, it's not Rousey and Stephanie. There's more chance of Rousey being hurt. This well, way, yeah, you gotta you spend got like 10, 20 minutes, and Rousey's not right. a wrestler. You can't do twenty minutes. With so a you gotta hour. have somebody else to cover up the time, and then Rousey tags in and does real quick work yes. of Stephanie. And I think the way they sell it to right. Dana, because everybody's like, Dana would never go for that. How you sell it to Dana is wrestling's fake, a. Eh? Sorry to use the F word. She's only got to be in there. All she's got to do, she's not going to get slammed or anything. Right. She's not going to have to worry about getting hurt or anything. She's, she's got to be in there for one She'll spot. ragdoll Stephanie, throw her around, and right. then put her in an arm bar. There's no way to get hurt doing a fake arm bar. It's you know? one spot. It's one That's spot. It. She'll Rock do a couple of little things, but she'll be the one doing them. So Rock and not Triple H. Yeah. Rock and Triple H do most they of the time. They kill the time in the match. Now, yeah. how does Rock tell Hollywood executives, I'm not going to get hurt. <laughs> How did he do that? Because like, that's been a problem in the past. He's so a big enough it. star and he doesn't have a boss like Dana White to ask permission. Right. right. If he wants to do it, he's doing it. You know? Exactly. Period. Exactly. Well, and they're going to they're gonna offer him both big money. It sounds like the deal's thing. already made to me. I, I mean, so. Rousey's yeah. already out there talking about we're just getting started. Rock co-signing it. Rock's teasing. You know right. what I mean? It right. sounds like it's a fucking agreed upon. It's just a matter of when they shoot the angle and start the build. Right. Exactly. Uh, that was the highlight of the show. <laughs> For me, at least. It was good. I was in here going fucking nuts. <laughs> when I, when I, he killed the part. I'll do it real quick. He walks around the ring and he just stops and kind of lets the crowd decide, figure out on their own that, oh shit, he's standing right there. He's not even looking at her. He's looking over here and she's over here, but he's standing right in front of her. Crowd saw Rousey. So they, they let the crowd kind of figure it out for themselves. Like, oh shit, Ronda's right there. Oh my God, is Ronda right. going to come? You know, right. you're never going to hit a woman. Like they they let them put it all together themselves, and that was the genius and of the it. The crowd popped, for and Rousey. that's where I'm marking because I'm smart enough to know, just like the fans were when they started chanting Ronda, Ronda, Ronda before anything even happened, before he even waved her over the barricade. Right. They all figured it out, and they're going nuts. Like I'm going nuts because right. we all know what's coming. And they did it in a beautiful way. It was so awesome. We had uh, Undertaker and Bray Wyatt. What you think of that, man? I, um, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm after that segment. Yeah. I, I run an MMA website, yeah. So I'm fucking in work mode. Right. I'm trying to do play by play, but also trying to do this big MMA story and right. and, and, and advertise it everywhere. Reddit, Facebook, you know. Uh, so I did not really see any of Taker Wyatt. I heard the uh, uh, the the commentary, so I'm able to do play by play because they're telling me what's going on. But I'm barely getting peeks at it every once in a while. So Taker hit I gotta go back and watch it. Tombstone yeah. pile driver on Bray. Now Bray got injured right before the match, warming up for uh, hours Rain. before the match. At, yeah. Just hours before, there were people backstage uh, saying that Bray was not in good shape. It was worse uh, than it sounded. Before they the gave show, yeah. they gave him a, uh, a shot uh, in the leg, painkiller shot. Right uh, where he was out. To, it was to basically a, it, yeah. a bad sprained angle. They had him in the uh, cast. Ankle. Yeah. Um, yeah, they put a uh, an air cast on it. 
uh, throughout the evening hours, and then right before he took it off, they gave him a shot, yeah. which numbed his ankle. He could barely walk. So said. he, uh, yeah, 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 we put it up on the website. Uh, the article's on WZROnline.com. But he came out, and uh, basically the entire ankle was numb. So couldn't feel it, and uh, yeah, was that's able scary because it gets a lot worse if you can't feel it and you do something that twists it or something. And not only that, but they well, kept him. Like, oh my god! They kept him off uh, Monday Night Raw last night. You didn't see Bray at all no. on uh, on Raw last night, and that's probably the reason why. Yeah. As well, that although they knocked it up. Lost. I mean, yeah, let, let's, 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 let's let people kind of not forget it, but like not like make it a big that's thing. True. Like you lost the ticket or right. got a chant going or something. That I thought I thought it was a really good match. Um, it wasn't as as you know, hard hitting as last year with Brock and Taker, obviously. It, it was According one of the people, worst uh, Taker matches. Not worse in the sense it was bad, but... It was but a good match. It did not live up to Sean no, versus no, Taker no, two no, years no, in a row, no. Triple H versus Taker no. two years in a row, Punk right. versus Taker, Brock versus not Taker. At not at all. It was the first time it was right. just a regular kind of match. Taker is back on the winning streak at WrestleMania. Start over, right? Go another 22-1 and one or The one cool thing that I did 20 catch 20 and one. was Bray doing his backwards crab amateur wrestling bridge right. where he walks like that, and as he doing it thinking he's got to take her right where he wants to take her sits up yeah. and Bray's like oh shit you know and he yeah, falls yeah. you know that, that part cool. was cool they built a cool. little gimmick thing there and it was, right. it was cute yeah. and then the main event what did you think of the main event That's I mean gotta be photoshopped we had uh, absolutely Jesus Christ yeah. we had Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns I thought the match itself was really good really good it was, I thought it it was, was Brock is better than people think I know I think Roman is. And better. Roman did. Yeah, Roman. Roman well, Roman people, I think carried. people know Roman's got a bunch of spots that are really cool. Right. And if you work them into the right time, right, the right part of the match, mm. it can really make a match great. As long as you're able to do the simple, you know, headlock, takeover, body slam. Dude, when you throw in the the few things that he does good, the Superman punch, the spear, the boot to the face on the apron, That's these are cool awesome, spots. So dude. if you put them in the right places. You know, they started out. It was Brock Lesnar, Suplex City, just bitch. like has to be brought Suplex up. Suplex yeah. City, bitch. That's yeah. why it's not a Raw. But uh, no, it wasn't. It, it was. was Mania, and they chanted it at Raw. He said at Mania because he suplexed him like twenty fucking times at right. Mania, which Heyman brought up. At suplex after suplex after suplex. Oh, Before yeah, right. he did the suplex, the the big suplex series at Mania, he Brock said, said something. He did like, like one suplex, suplex and then because he did it right. to Cena seventeen times at SummerSlam, right, 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 right. it's his new thing. Right. So after he did one, he's kind of warning him. Then he's like, suplex city bitch, and he yelled it loud, loud enough that you can loud, hear it in a loud. fucking eighty thousand. And then Heyman stadium. followed up on Raw last night. Yeah, it's suplex city. after suplex after. But he kept doing yeah. suplex for su- so you had that right. And then you had Roman Reigns towards the end of the match. You had suplex, tons of suplexes from Tons. Brock Lesnar. I lost. And count. then yeah. with Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns <laughs> hit his Superman punch a bunch of different times. Towards he the he end hit of the a match. lot of his shit a bunch of different times. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it made sense, right? You had Lesnar hitting all these suplexes. You had Roman Reigns hitting all these oh. Superman punch, kick out after kick out after kick out. Seth Rollins music hits. Well, Seth Rollins are you going to get out. the blade? You, yeah. That's not so, worth mentioning the blade. Go ahead. I'm, I know you're rushing, but that's a key is, thing. There was a they don't allow blade jobs in WWE, but apparently right. there was a blade being passed from the referee to Reigns, from Reigns to Lesnar. Although one person emailed me and said there's a thing referees are supposed to do when a big spot happens and you're not sure if someone's hurt. They're supposed to walk over and squeeze. Check the, and then it. They squeeze their finger, right. and if the finger if they respond, then they're okay, and that's right. how they do it without the crowd to hear. It, like, right. are you okay? So, but so, it looked like the blade was being passed around because Lesnar on Raw had cuts here, here, here. He did, like, he, he did. was all fucked up. There's a, a GIF or a GIF uh, on the website, uh, WZROnline.com. We put it up earlier today. So Seth Rollins' music eventually hits. He comes out, says he wants to cash in his briefcase, right? And this is before the match is over. This is, for, this is like unprecedented. Like, let me just be part of this ongoing match. Right, right. But they, uh, yeah. it was Superman punch after Superman punch, and then it was suplex after suplex. Both guys, at this point, yeah. beat up and down. All right? Seth Rollins comes out, and he hits a curb stomp on Brock. He hits a curb stomp yeah. on, on Roman. And then he does it again. They both kick out after that, and he's like, oh, shit. They, you is know, that what happened? They're kicking out. Then he hits another curb stomp. And another curb and, and so it was Brock Lesnar hitting all these suplexes. It was Roman Reigns hitting all these Superman punches. It was Seth Rollins hitting the curb stomp numerous times. Everybody remember. hit their finisher numerous times. I remember him I getting curb. Remember. He got Brock and then got him the hell out of the ring. Right. And then he hit Roman Reigns twice with the curb stomp. A lot of stuff happened towards the end where Roll- yeah. uh, Rollins was out there hitting curb stomps. One thing led to another. He pinned Reigns, not Lesnar. Lesnar and Rollins pinned Reigns to win 
show goes off the air, all the pyro yes. on the, uh, that's always a cool moment it when the is, show goes yeah. off the air. Uh, Seth Rollins posing at the top of the ramp. New WWE World Heavyweight Champion. It was uh, unexpected thing. It was, awesome. it was unexpected, but expected because, like, we even brought up in the pre-show, there was three options. We thought Heyman turns on Lesnar, helps Reigns win. Right. Lesnar just fucking wins because they want to keep him an unkillable, unbeatable killer. Right. Or Rollins cashes in. And I, if you watch that pre-show back, I fucking was very close to saying I think Rollins. Nah, I, I gotta go Lesnar. I gotta go Lesnar. You did. I gotta you, go Lesnar. You said it, man. I, but I really wanted to do that. But I'm like, they he, they just so, signed and had him sit on Sports Center. They're not gonna have him lose his first match after that. So I had a reason, but yeah. so we got Triple H and Sting wrong. We both picked uh, Sting there. Yes, I we got Lesnar. I didn't wrong. see Sting coming in yeah. his first match in WWE losing. Two biggest matches of the show we got wrong. If you want to really like make us look bad, we we got yeah, two big. Did. I mean, unless you count Wyatt, Wyatt Taker as one of the biggest matches, but yeah. The two real men. When it's all said and done. Yeah. When it's all. You got more right than me. Because you copied out all my picks. But, uh, yeah. You're not going to respond to that. <laughs> you went first for most of them, so I can't I even say that. I went first for every one of them. No, not every one of them. We went back and forth on a couple of, towards the middle there. I said, hold on, I got a, a definite opinion. And then I tell my thing, and you're like, no, that makes sense. I'm going to agree with you. I think there was maybe one match. One yeah. match that that happened. I couldn't tell you how many. I was drunk. Like so anyway, almost, WrestleMania. Almost there now too, but uh, yeah. If that was spilling me, you'd have really got hurt on camera in front of all your fans, man. You ain't uh, hurting nobody on camera. Even bad. He ain't hurting nobody. You don't on want camera. that. You ain't a tough guy. Okay. He ain't a tough guy. Uh, <laughs> all right. So school order great. WrestleMania thirty one. I gotta give it a fucking A. An A. Fuck yeah! I don't say A plus because you gotta save some room for perfection. Like mm-hmm. But A absolutely. I gotta go A. I can't even say A minus. I know. Even the Divas match, they kept it short. But it was kept Divas, it short. I mean, for a seven decent. minute Divas match, tag there team was match not, was good. And, and going in, listen, I'm the first one to come on here to admit, going in, uh, you and I, both, at least I did, said WrestleMania is not well very good think, on paper. Yeah. On paper. If you look at the build up, eh, almost God. No, it was God. The lineup, eh, almost God. Yeah. But the show from start to finish. Gotta give it up, man. They turned chicken shit into chicken salad like a motherfucker on Sunday night. How do you... That's somebody trying to walk in here right now. Chicken shit into, into chicken, chicken salad. salad. Yeah, that's a Brock Lesnar line from UFC, but it's I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm thinking like chicken shit is, is brown... Uh, Chick, chicken it's shit. It's a play on words. Chicken shit and the chicken salad. What the fuck is going on out What's there? What's the shit and salad? How do you turn shit into salad? It's the point. Chicken shit, chicken salad. It's just a play on words. And you say like I, I turned diarrhea into I turned shit. something shitty into something good. I turned, I turned diarrhea into shit. Or poop. What are you talking about? What do you... What, are, what are, I don't get it. Chicken shit is something bad. Yeah. Chicken salad is supposedly something good, although I hate... That's no, not good. I don't like salad. But it, the, the point of the saying is you took a fucking turd and turned it into a meal. Or it's to say I took raw chicken and turned it into cooked chicken. I can't believe I'm defending one of the most fucking commonly used expressions <laughs> in fucking the English commonly language. Commonly used? I ain't never heard of turning chicken shit into Let's just, chicken I don't, even need to, I don't even need to read the chat. Everybody will help me Has out Has anybody here. ever yes. heard of turning chicken shit a into chicken A simple yes will know what do so he can see a billion yeses. I've never heard of oh, turning chicken shit into chicken salad. I've never heard it in my life. Wow. Yes or no? Okay. You ever heard that in the chat room? For the love of God, online. Flood com us with yeses chat. so we can get past this. No, flood us with no's and tell them that yeah. ain't nobody ever We're rushing for time, but he wants to be right, chicken so salad. he'll stick around for this. We I'll are. stick around. Yes? Yes? Hold on. Keep going, guys. Somebody say no. Somebody defend me in here. I'm sure there'll be one fucking retard who hasn't heard it, but there's a... Here we go. Come on. And why would you call him that? Because as I say, they haven't heard it. Just because they haven't heard it, chicken shit, yeah. chicken. Even salad. if you haven't heard of it, what hearing it for the about? first time would make sense. Like, oh, you took something shitty and made it good. It's obvious. If you like salad, yeah. But if I you hate don't like, salad. If you don't like salad, then you then turned a turd into food. You, you eat yeah. food out of a piece of shit. Well, I don't have. That, that is taking something bad and making it good. It's obvious. What are you talking? Never about? seen it. Bam. Yeah. Who's that in the chat? I love you. Who like, hasn't? Man, bro. Yes, yes, or don't, uh, or don't remember. We don't want to cover that part. They don't the remember because Brock Lesnar said it yeah. one time. He said it one time and everybody remembers. Fuck out of here. He didn't invent it, douchebag. It's a fucking saying that he said once. 
So, uh, uh, Paul Heyman is with Brock Lesnar. Real quick, I'm a little and, disappointed. Uh, that should have been a clear yes, 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 yes. Like, oh, fucking insane yeses. But you know, that's, uh, nobody's even commenting. Cause yeah, they, they they're in their care. own discussion right they're, now. They're, or they don't yeah. care. They haven't heard or they don't care. Well, I don't care either, but you, you want to be right, so. Well, yeah. don't, uh, you've used it like the last three or four weeks in a row on here. Chicken, have I? Chicken, yes. Because this is not the first time I've heard it. It's been like a multiple thing. I it's guess. I, don't, I, I guess. But I, I don't like it. So anyway. Right. Uh, yeah, what happened on the road? So, so Brock Lesnar, Paul, <laughs> they're, they're angry. Christ. They're angry. Can't be wrong. He can't be wrong, folks. You have no idea. No, I'm saying. Uh, Would you admit you're wrong? That is an expression. It's an expression that, that All right. sucks. That's That's. Doesn't make any sense. It's it's stupid. I'll say it sucks because I hate chicken salad. Yeah, me too. It makes perfect sense. What well, makes sense? Yeah. But, All right. But it, yeah, I don't. WrestleMania. They stupid. took a shitty lineup and made it into a good show. Chicken shit to chicken salad. You took a piece of shit that nobody would ever eat because it's shit and made it chicken salad. Actual food. It's simple. It's easy to digest. You took a you took a piece of raw meat and you cooked it and you made it into good. Tasty. Raw meat's already cooked. food to begin with. Yeah, I know, but you but just gotta prepare it. You well, give me a good WrestleMania lineup, and I will organize it in a way that it will be a delicious piece of food, as you expected, because you got a nice slab of beef to, to work with. Douchebag. Huh? Yeah. What? Analogies uh, aren't your forte. Let me. Brock Lesnar. He's yeah. angry. He's to very angry, like the Incredible Hulk. To you open don't want to see rock. Brock when he's angry. So Paul Heyman's out there, right? And he uh, he cuts another awesome Paul Heyman promo. On Ro- I, Brock I Lesnar cut another awesome Paul Heyman. Promo. Paul Heyman cut an awesome okay. promo week after week after week. Paul Heyman cuts these awesome promos on Raw once again last night. What happens with him? Paul now? Heyman like, he just disappears for a while, I guess. They're I talking about Lesnar not even coming back till SummerSlam. That's July. I wouldn't doubt it, man. Or I wouldn't August, doubt it. actually, I think now it is. And you know what else? Now that they've got the title off him, yeah. Seth Rollins is going to be at house shows, live events, defending the title. And I think that's another one of the reasons why they took the title off Lesnar. There was a not bunch of reasons, matter. and that yeah. was one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. You know? So Rollins is going to be working oh. at house shows. Brock Lesnar with the limited dates on his contract going for a while. But uh, how about Paul Heyman? Awesome, once again. He basically says... The gist of this promo was, we've got a rematch clause, we're invoking it, yeah. and it's happening tonight. And and that yeah. was it. You're talking you about know? his dad being a lawyer and all that, but Brock hates lawyers. Yeah, and the crowd, which we haven't addressed yet, which would be the first thing I would have said, right, was a uh, fucking, I mean, obviously you would expect it at a post-WrestleMania Raw. It was a nutty fucking crowd, man, for San Jose. I mean, they were nuts. Right. From fucking beginning to end. Stephanie did come out here too, by the way, and basically yes. said that Seth he wasn't had there flown. Yet. Yeah. Uh, he was on, he had flown to New York City for the a Today Show. Today Show, yeah. which I saw yesterday morning, by I the way. I figured you Seth had. Rollins you watch all that shit. Uh, he was on there. So that chicken did. shit. Seth Rollins <laughs> went from California <laughs> after WrestleMania, flew all the way to New York City. That was worth all the way. If it were online, I, I would be like, dude, why did you make LOL? All the way. Rollins flew all the way across the, the country to New York. York City, and then came all the way back to California for Raw. Which so did uh, the NXT Diva Zahara. Shrew. Yeah, she did too. How do you say that? I don't even know. But That's yeah, the she did uh, the girl that was in the, the Seth Rollins uh, sex uh, sexting. It's it's yeah. interesting. They both fly from California to New York yeah. City back to California. Hmm. Do you think they might be together? And I didn't even Rollins? put that together when I put the article today. I didn't today. either until <laughs> right now. As That's we're, good. I didn't know we're talking about yeah. it, but I'm guessing that Seth Rollins is now probably with her. And my boss is probably mad at me because he and told me to post it, and all he said was, yo, look at this. And I'm just trying to be like, oh, all right, so she I'm did guessing it. that Seth Rollins... I didn't even put two and two together. I'm guessing that Seth Rollins and his fiance Fuck. are no longer together, and that's the reason Pretty fucking smart why both of them right there, man. traveled. See, I am a I smart guy. I did not put that I together. am a smart guy. Well, that is, I don't, I don't know the bit. I'm not, the lady, the nice... The nice yes. woman. I, I, I don't even know who the fuck she is. I'm guessing you know. that he's with her now and the fiance and the boyfriends and everything else. Are going. All right. Uh, we had Daniel Bryan against Dolph Ziggler. Awesome match yes. on Raw, man. Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler. It's sad. I mean, listen, I get it. Daniel Bryan is IC, tight, IC champion, but 
Dolph Ziggler continues to lose week after What's week. What's with his jean jacket with the sleeves cut off? Uh, the, you uh, said that? Denim, I didn't see it. It was a denim vest with an emblem, like, like but sparkly pink don't fucking you, logos on Don't you on think it. that Ziggler has so much potential, man? Yeah. And they just... They, Who doesn't at this Every point, week they chop him Anybody you talk to on this camera that uh, gets on the internet, any of the real wrestling fan, that by now would be like, how the hell... Has Dolph Ziggler not got his shot yet? Uh, but know? he gets jobbed out every week. And I get it. You had to pick and choose. And this is another thing. You had to pick <laughs> between the two internet <laughs> darlings last well, night on Raw. Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler. That was a match for specifically for a post WrestleMania crowd where they know it's marks. It's 20,000 marks, whatever it is. Load up the phone. But my time. thing is always, like, when in those situations, you're like, well, yeah, it's Daniel Bryan, so he can't lose, or he can't beat Daniel Bryan. Right. My always thing is, well, why make the match then? If there's not a fucking a reason to have somebody win or lose, and it's just there's two people everybody's gonna love, you do that on special occasions. Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Absolutely. Warrior, WrestleMania, and Skydom. Right. You don't do it on a fucking throwaway Raw match and have right. some, you know, right. it's just pointless. Hey, we are gonna go a little bit long tonight, about 15, 20 minutes. Listen, WWE SmackDown right now it is. Say it's not gonna be over anytime soon. Nine fifty, nine fifty, eight fifty. Uh, 950, 8.50, It is only 6.50. You had to count backwards? It is only 6.50. SmackDown hasn't even started yet. The main event, main event, uh, uh, main event and SmackDown Davies, they haven't even started yet. It's only 6.50. It's not even 7 o'clock there yet. They're just letting people in the building. So it's going to be a late night. Yeah, people are just entering the building out there uh, for WWE SmackDown. So it's going to be a late night. You're staying up for SmackDown Spoilers. So we'll go a little bit long so that we can get some of these phone lines or phone calls in. We'll finish up Monday Night Raw. Go 15, 20 minutes long. Speaking of phone calls, our first caller is on the line right now. And, and they're upset. She, yeah. she has been tweeting me for the last couple of days me too. since WrestleMania. Yeah. She's not happy no, she's with not. what happened at WrestleMania. She's not happy with what happened at Raw last night. No. John Cena defeated Rusev, and we need to talk to her about it. I know she's got a lot to get off her chest tonight. She does. And we've got her on the line right now. Our friend, a, a loyal member of the WZR TV Army, of the WZR Army. Yes. Jacqueline, what, what, what happened? I am blaming John Cena for that hit accidentally on Lana. Quite frankly, Rusev Studios rematch at Extreme Rules. And another thing I am not happy about is Baron Von Ape Brock Lesnar attacking WWE personnel. So, well, I mean, I know you've been tweeting uh, myself and Mr. Clark here, who's he's actually uh, absent from the broadcast as he's urinating right now, but what, uh, Take us to your thoughts. I know he wants to hear it. He can listen to the archive, or maybe he'll be back before uh, you finish here. But well, what were your thoughts on everything that went down at Mania, everything that went down at Raw? What are your thoughts on the decision to have Cena win, the decision to have the friction between Rusev and Lana, who, as you know, as you've talked about, are a real-life couple? What are your thoughts on everything they're doing right now with your favorite uh, superstars and divas in WWE? Well, okay. I still have respect for Cena, but quite frankly, I think Rusev should have won. I, uh, Why do you think Rusev should have won? Gonna be back before we know it. Why do you think Rusev should have won? Because he, this, he, uh, if he would have won, he could have started his own WrestleMania streak, just like Taker did all those years ago. And quite frankly, that, that would have been awesome. I just wanted him and Lana to have their WrestleMania, WrestleMania moment. That's all I wanted. Well, I, I mean, and listen, listen though, Jackie, we were telling you for weeks, I mean, it seemed like going into WrestleMania, right, it just seemed like they're building up America against Russia, and you're at the biggest stage of them all, right, you're at WrestleMania 31, you've got 76,000 people in the arena, right, and you just knew that America was going to prevail, and the guy that represents America it's John Cena, and and it makes sense to have Cena defeat Rusev at WrestleMania. It just it makes sense as as WrestleMania is it's an America. You know what I mean? It's always in America every year, and it just you know Rusev got the win, 
at the pay per view before WrestleMania. So so this was kind of payback, I, you know. I know it's just. I know, but. And what, what do I you just, think about what do you think I, about what do you think about Lana and Rusev? You know, I mean, clearly there's beef between those two. She cost him the match at WrestleMania. She wasn't on Raw with him last night. Lana's Lana's kind of. From what I can tell, it was he hit her accidentally because I thought, okay, I was I was watching. It. I'm like, Rusev, get out of the way. You're gonna hit her. Yeah. Get out of the way. Don't. Do what Randy did to Elizabeth back in '89. Get away if she could get hurt real bad. And I I'm know. like, then when I see her go down, I'm like, oh shit, no, no, no! Please don't let her be hurt. Please don't let her be hurt. So, so what? So what are you gonna like, do here? I mean, what are you gonna do here? We got Rusev and Lana. They're they're not together. What, what, what are we gonna do? What's gonna happen? I don't want. I don't want them being. I don't want them being split up because I read what you said earlier about what Vince wants to do. For her and I don't want them split up and I don't think it's a good idea. Man, this is <laughs> not this is trouble in paradise for you, Jackie. Let's go for Kingston. I know I don't want them <laughs> being split up because you know I'm like okay, I don't want the same thing happening happening like all those years ago because I was real little when all that happened and I'm like I just don't want that to happen to them. I know, I and, know. And I'm like okay, you know what? Don't do what you did to Elizabeth and Randy back when I was little. Just let them be the other, yes. okay? It, it's not fair to me. It's not fair to anyone else who cares about them. I know. I know. I'm, well, I'm the only one that... I'm the only one that... I, I know you guys agree with me that I'm the only one that cares, uh, besides me and a couple of my other friends, yeah, I but... I just can't see them break up. There's no way. Uh. I know. Well, we'll see what happens in the coming weeks, Jackie. You know, we'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see what happens. You know, never know. Maybe they'll get back together. All right. Have a, I, hey, just, keep just your head up. You. Keep your head up, Jackie. All right. Who is that I hear in the background? That's my nephew Jacob. Would he make it if I brought him in? Would he? Would he? Would, you, would it make you feel better? Would it make you feel better if I brought him in? I don't want you getting upset here. Let me bring him in. I'll put a smile on your face, okay. Jackie. I'll put a smile on your face. Hold on a minute. Hey, come here. Say, say hi, Jackie. Hello. I'll say hi, Jackie. Hi, Jacob. <gasps> hi. She said hi. Hey, buddy. She said hi. Hello. He's get, he's got his lollipop, so he's all happy. He's got his pop. Hey. I have a good week. Have a good have a good week, Jackie. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. All right. All right. Bye, guys. All right. Bye, be, Jacob. Be good. So bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> All right, caller, you are live on WZR TV. What's going on? Yeah, um, I thought I thought WrestleMania well, on Sunday was great. Best WrestleMania since WrestleMania 30. Yeah. Oh, that, that moment. <laughs> last year. Except, That's last year. Except for that. Except for. Except for that moment, when the referee counted to three for Triple H to win that match, I did, they ruined the great, the the uh, most anticipated debut in WWE history. But you know what? If man, you look at it from that yeah. perspective, then then he's absolutely right. It depends on how you look at it, and the problem is, and they always say this with WWE booking, it makes perfect sense to them when they work it out on their piece of paper. I know you're having fun with Jay, but uh, but but. It makes sense to them when they go through all these things and they battle it out and talk it out in the room, you know, when they're writing. But the problem is, the 80,000 fans in the building aren't reading that piece of paper. All they see is what is shown to them. Right. And to a lot of them, they're probably thinking the same way this gentleman's thinking, which is that, fuck, man, Sting finally, F, man, Sting's finally doing his first match, and he loses? Like, And the right. Triple H who doesn't need a win, like, why would you do that? But... To them, because it was built up, w I mean, we explained it, he was probably listening, and WWW, WWE can't come out on the bottom on that one, so, right. you know. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I mean, they built it up as WCW versus WWE, like Boone said, and WWE's not going to come out on the bottom Not while Vince is alive. No, no, way. no yeah. or while well, well, he's facing uh, Triple H. Thanks for the call, man. Have a uh, have a good week. Guys, get to our live chat room, WZRonline.com slash chat. You can give us a call. It's 518-712-3070. 518-712-3070. Call it your live on WZR TV. Uh, what's going on? 
Hey guys, it's Steven Gravick in the chat room. What's going on? What's up, Stevie? <laughs> your fun, your comment just a second ago had me cracking up, man. No selling. She's the no. female. It's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> Even Jacob. That's my no comment. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> good, man. What's up? <laughs> yeah, uh, I got a joke for you guys, and then I'll, uh, oh, I know I gotta no. get to bed. Um, what, what do you call a cow with no legs? <laughs> Doesn't matter what you call it. It's not gonna come anyways. Ground beef. <laughs> Ground beef. Yeah, we've heard that. <laughs> Somebody said that one before. It might have been him. But uh, my joke is pretty good too, though. If it's got no legs, it's not you gonna come. You did the dog joke and just implemented it there because they hadn't had any legs. <laughs> yeah, but if a cow's got no legs, it's not gonna come anyways. That's not a ain't joke. Got no legs. That's a literal description of what would happen. He's talking about a joke. What do you call a fish with two knees? I don't know. A toonie fish. Oh, it's fucking great. What else, bro? Mm -hmm. Um, not much. Um, I, I thought WrestleMania was pretty good. I think it's I think it's kind of ridiculous. People think this is a top five WrestleMania of all time. I mean, I mean, it was a good show. Don't get me wrong. I think it's in that top, you know, fifteen area. But yeah. I think top three or top five is not. Uh, I don't I, know, man. It's it's <laughs> it's kind of hard to uh, to say. But I agree. Um, I agree with you, man. I mean, Boom was saying top three. A lot of people in the chat room saying top five. I say top ten. You say top fifteen. Uh, I, I just, he's not I, even giving the top ten. No, I mean he's. he's I a, dare someone to name ten. Well, he, he, in that he, one. he would say top I ten, dare top you. ten or top fifteen. Yeah. Somewhere I would I'll have to go back. Top ten, but top fifteen. I, come yeah. on. I would have to go back and 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 watch every WrestleMania, man. I'm bad with numbers in in history. And I'm good enough with numbers to know that, that fifteen out of thirty would be. It means it's about as good as it's half yeah. and half. Fifty percent. It's better than. 50% of, you know, yeah, come on. I think so. I mean, yeah. when he says top 15, he may be saying, like, top eight. It could be number eight. It could be yeah. anywhere in well, the top that, that would be top 10. Well, it could be. He doesn't know. He's like yeah. me. Man. He's probably like me, man. you got to go back and watch. But I would, I would too. I would say, give an exact number, but. I would say top 10, man. Dude, top 10, I can you know. Con I, like I said, yeah. I can confidently I, I say top was... five, but I, off the top of my head, I think top three. Steven, have a good week, brother. He was yeah. still. Oh, go you ahead. You too, buddy. Take care, guys. All right. All right be good, man. All right, uh, we've only got one open phone line, guys, so if somebody's already on the line and, and you hear them, keep trying. Uh, keep trying to call back, man, okay. and we'll try to get to each and every one of you guys. 518-712-3070. Yeah, I'm going to skip through uh, Raw. We'll just do the you high points. find some cool the, shit uh, talk about, like the Neville. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Uh, Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's up? It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, you already called, damn it. Uh, one call per show. That was good. All right. uh, the Loose uh. Dragons uh, came to Monday Night Raw. Uh, that Callisto is... Callisto tore the fucking house. F and house. They were down. good. Yeah. They were good, man. Uh, so we had that. We also had Neville, who they dropped the Adrian from Neville's name. Yeah, they did the Antonio Cesaro, Biggie you, Langston thing to him. Do you we're think, getting rid of half the name. Listen, I get that his red arrow, the finisher that he does, it's a sick move, man. And yeah. last night at Raw, he looked awesome. But do you think he gets over as a character? As a, Do you think his gimmick... I, I, we don't really have a gimmick I mean, it depends on yeah what they do with him. But the fact that they gave him the cool... like He's got the AJ Styles uh, yeah. robe with the hoodie, but no sleep, you know. And right. he's got the awesome in-ring style. I think... Someone like that could get over. We I think get through these. We got a lot of. Questions. I think the in ring style will get over, but it's it's <coughs> a matter of what they do with him. The character is what's important. It doesn't yeah. seem like they're going to put him in some sort of corner. Well, it seems gimmick, like he's going to you know? do like just like a, a like regular the badass wrestler. Right, right. Yeah. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? What's going on, fellas? How you doing, man? Good. Good. Hey, before I get started, Ryan, did Jackie legit cry over Rusev and Lana not wanting them to split up? Good lord. I know, um, I know. We cut, her, we cut her some slack, and I think you guys listen. And, uh, and you know, I, I know you guys love her, but I'm a legit and loyal member of WZR2, so I like to get some credit every, you know, week now and then, too. So just saying. <laughs> um, I appreciate but, it, man. Um, anyway, um, but anyway, um, I think WrestleMania looks a lot better in the outdoor stadiums like it was um like it was on Sunday. I don't know about you guys. It just seems more like, you know, like a concert, like a more like cool atmosphere when it's outdoors like that. Yeah. yeah. And secondly, um, do you guys think that I think Raw was written by Triple H last night because there was a lot of stuff that was not Vince to me, like with all the stuff that went on, a lot more cussing and you know a lot more all of that stuff. Um, 
and then just to throw the final thing, and I'll let you guys go, is when is the last time somebody ever cashed in the briefcase and the match became a triple threat? Like, I thought you were supposed to beat the guy that had, I just was a bit confused by that. Like, I yeah. thought the cash-in was you're cashing on the guy, not, oh, now it's a triple threat. I was just... You can you can you can cash in you can cash in thanks for the call man uh you can you can cash in at at any time I mean the match doesn't have to be over uh for somebody to cash in you can come out uh before a match even yeah. starts and there's and been say, times where guys in. have thought they were gonna cash in and they realize the guy's not as beat up as they thought oh never mind you know the briefcase shit that's my comment when I made you earlier was like it was like unprecedented in the sense that this was the first time uh, especially a cowardly heel would cash in while a match was still going and like, oh, I'll take him, motherfucker, you know. Right. Mother effort. Well, well, I, I, uh, I, yeah. I think Rollins thought the match was about to be over and it was the per perfect time for you him to clearly cash in. did. But so that was, and yeah. then when it wasn't over, uh, he, he cashed in anyways, thinking that, listen, both of these guys are down, I'm going to be able to turn around, cash in, turn around, do a one, two, three, and it's over. The that subtle thing to the, to the kids, though, and the younger audience, it's kind of like, it gives them a little bit of credibility. Not, I mean, it doesn't make them look like such a chicken ass, right? Uh, because he's not like, oh, I'm gonna wait till the match is over and the guy's dead on his back, chicken and then I'm gonna cash in. Chicken shit. Uh, yeah, I guess chicken, chicken salad, salad would work with chicken, chicken ass too. But chicken yeah. ass, chicken salad. I wouldn't chicken censor chip. chicken salad. Hey, we got chicken on the mind tonight over here. I wouldn't <laughs> chicken ass, but uh, chicken anyway. shit, chicken salad, Unknown chicken call. You ass. Want, you want to take a gamble on this one? We got chicken dick. Uh, caller, you are oh, caller, you are live on WZR TV. What's up? Uh -oh. Yeah, I I have been predicting the ending of uh, WrestleMania for months. It's uh, it's been ten years since the original Money in the Bank, and and that and that WrestleMania also happened in California. All right, that one also happened in California. All right, so you got ten years ago to the day, so it's or like not the to the day, and but the anniversary. Yeah. You've got the uh, the Money in the Bank match, right? And then you've got a ladder match to kick off WrestleMania. It makes sense in California. It makes sense, man. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Have a good week, man. All right, thanks for the call. You know, just real quick, <coughs> off air note. You realize I do use that for work. Oh, over there. He's not doing anything. He's going to break it. I'm telling you he's going to break it. Yeah, break it. All right. What are you doing over there, buddy? <clears throat> uh, we'll get him out of here here in, uh, in just a second. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to call us up, we've got open phone lines right now. 518-712-3070. 518-712-3070. One thing I want to say about Jackie, listen, y'all that have been listening to WZR TV for a while now, y'all know Jackie. She's very passionate. We have fun with her on here, and she does get emotional. She does get. She is she very. Wrestling series. She is very passionate. Uh, Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, Ryan? Matt, uh, this is Ryan Shopta. How you guys doing tonight? What's up, Shopta from the chat? What's going on, brother? Yep. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, you know what? Well, a couple of callers that go. I agree with the whole statement about WrestleMania being outdoors. It's just the atmosphere is completely different. Yeah. And it's kind of bittersweet that, you know, next year, if they're going to, you know, really try to break that record for the largest attendance, that the, the AT&T Stadium in Dallas will be probably uh, closed. Yeah, Boone, Boone so and I soon. were talking about next year for WrestleMania 32 in Dallas. It's going to be awesome, man, with so many people in there. Oh, yeah. In the atmosphere, it's just, it's, when you look and they and they do the uh, the wide shots and you see the stadium filled with, you know, almost 80,000 fans, 76,000 people, it is awesome, I man. I think that, so, I was going to say, really cool. like, the 70 to 60,000, like, that kind of stuff doesn't really make a difference to me because it's a whole S load of people. But 70,000, which, by the way, that number was BS last night. It was not 76. 76,000. It was like 67. Yeah. They probably a lot. They, right. they, they right. always they, make they sure always they do. break the record in the building. Yeah, but you don't you don't hear, I mean, when when it comes across, like when I'm watching it and you hear the roar of the crowd of 70,000 yeah. people or whatever it was, it's just, it's a whole different atmosphere. Well, that, and that was an open stadium, shot. so the, the, the noise awesome, escaped. So it takes, yeah. you know, and in a big building, it takes a while to bounce It'll back. It'll be interesting to see Dallas uh, but, next year for WrestleMania, whether they yeah. keep the, uh, yeah. the roof open. My point was going to be was that, yeah, A, it, like he was talking about the aesthetic, that's a hard word to say, aesthetic part, like how it looks, uh, normally 60 to 70,000 probably looks about the same, 70 to 80 looks about, you go from 
probably legitimately 65, 67, 69,000 last night to 100,000 if they can do it next year. Mm. And they're going to announce 110 because apparently a country concert. Of course, they always go over. I was listening to Steve bit. Austin's show today, and he had uh, Wade Keller on. And they're talking about a George Strait concert just went just recently. Right. Went to Cowboy Stadium and did 105,000 fans. George Strait still drawing, really? 105,000. Wow. Can you imagine that many people like wow. George Strait? Yeah, that's crazy. First of all, that's unfathomable yeah. <laughs> to me. But the fact that that many people... So they're going to announce a bigger number, obviously, than that. So right. you go from... Six, let's just say it was 76. You go from 76 to 106 or more thousand. That's 30,000 extra people. That's an extra full building full of people for a big-ass raw or a big pay-per-view that isn't WrestleMania on top of this year's WrestleMania crowd. So that will look cool on the wide yeah. shots. Yeah. And the other thing is it guarantees you that they're going to go all out right. next year. You're, right. you're not going to have a B-level card going into the show. Right. You're going to have a big-ass lineup full of big names, cool matches. Cool you're going to have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. To, yeah, because they Absolutely. need to sell tickets. All right. Uh, open phone line right now, 518-712-3070. John Cena issued an open challenge on uh, on Monday Night Raw last yeah. night. Yeah, man. Uh, this was, I think this was after the announcers. Is it uh, right after the announcer? I mean, Stephanie McMahon, we talked about this earlier. Stephanie, Mc, Stephanie yeah. McMahon came out and uh, basically Brock Lesnar threw a fit, right? He's out there throwing a freaking fit. Uh, Stephanie comes out and says, you can't do this. We covered this. Uh, you, are now, you are now yeah, suspended. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, uh, the open challenge, uh, was accepted by Dean Ambrose, which was kind of cool. It was kind of surprising was, considering how it was effed up the back of his head was from that power bomb spent all the blood. It and was all surprising, that. but uh, it also, you know, establishes the fact that Dean Ambrose is crazy. a crazy guy yeah. and doesn't care, and he's open to anybody, and whether it's fighter. a, yeah. whether it's a baby face, whether it's a heel, he doesn't care, he fights, he well, wants to fight Well, and and Ambrose had a little bit of history, if you remember, they would do that smart-ass talk to each other back Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. right, 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 Um, we had, uh, Rusev squashed gold dust, yes. man. The main event, uh, by the way, the matches last night, did you notice, like, the opening three matches, they gave him a lot of time. Yes. Where they went to commercial breaks, come back on the flip side, and they would finish up the match. Every, like, the next match was There start, was a streak where there was at least one commercial and, yeah. like, the first three or four or five match. It was, like, yeah. During all the matches? I think it's because, so of, A, it's a three-hour show, and, true. B, they're in that mark audience. Like, this is going to be the yeah. WrestleMania crowd, only yeah. smaller, and they're going to love wrestling. Right. So let's give them Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler. Let's give them matches that are fun. And, and that's what they did. Good too, wrestling with, matches. With Daniel Bryan yeah. and Dolph Ziggler, that was... Let's yeah, give I mean, them good wrestling that they'll, you know, they'll dig. We know this crowd will like a Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler match that goes 20 minutes. Right. They'll be on right. the edge of their seat for the whole thing, chanting right. and having right. fun. We had uh, Orton, Ryback, and Reigns. Basically, the angle earlier in the night. Well, was, we didn't know it was Orton. You just we didn't know. Yeah. We didn't know, but it was going to be Seth Rollins. It was going to be Kane and the Big Show. They yeah. did a backstage segment, and they come up, and Which, Randy Orton is there, mm-hmm. right? And they basically tell Randy, "You've got to find two other guys tonight." And I said, "I got to make a point." Though, I got to be honest. Are you yeah, going to yeah, call yeah. me out on that? No, 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 no. It's a complete. It's about Rollins. I said to you. And and you, you didn't agree with me, but you said, you know what? Some of the sting. It's a possibility. Yeah. You didn't agree with me. I completely but I, disagreed with you. Yeah. You didn't disagree. No. Yes, you, I did. I when I, I explained it, when I further explained yeah. it, you said there's a very slim I was chance being nice. they would do that. You were probably being. I nice. was being nice. But I said, he, I he said, look. He kept trying. To I said, look. I'm like, no, I, I said, could see that. I guess you did. You did. Nah, that's how it came across. <laughs> but I said, Randy Orton has got to find two partners. My theory was, all right, it is the night after WrestleMania. You know they want to do big things. It's a big show. It's the biggest Raw it's of the year. It's a big show against the big show. It's yeah. the biggest show of the year. Now, I'm thinking to myself, all right, a couple of weeks ago, just was it last week or the week before, you had Randy Orton and Sting in the ring together. Very cool moment. You guys all remember that, right? Really cool moment, Randy Orton Sting in a WWE ring. It's the post-WrestleMania Raw. They're going to do big things. I thought one of Randy Orton's partners on Raw was going to be Sting. And it would be Randy Orton, Sting, and somebody else against Seth Rollins, Kane, and Big Show. Would have made sense. Huge Raw, Sting, Randy Orton a couple of weeks ago. Obviously, they didn't go that route. Sting didn't come in. 
Um, and, and they, they wound up with Orton, Orton, Ryback, and Reigns. I guess I got two which points makes sense to make now. Too. Yeah. But that's what I thought going in, that Sting was going to be a big surprise on Raw. <laughs> I was going to wrestle again. So My two points would, A, Rollins avoided Lesnar because he said, I would, I'm a fighting champion, I'll always fight, but I'm jet-lagged, so I don't want to fight tonight. And then he's in the main event. And so that's, it still works. Uh, that's what I said. I put it up on Facebook. I yeah. said, wait a minute. Rollins came out here early in the night and yeah. said, I'm jet lagged. I don't want to fight. But yet. Oh, I think we even talked about that. because. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah, well, yes. a three on one he's willing to do because right. he knows he's, yeah. Then there's a backstage segment and it's like, wait a minute. And Rollins is now ready to fight. Part two was that. The big, the big <laughs> Ryback we saw in a backstage segment, he became Orton's first partner. And then it was the big question mark for the rest of the show, who's going to be the third one? Right. If they want Roman Reigns to get over as the next top babyface of the company, why the hell, in front of that audience that is going to viscerally, gutterally <laughs> boo him <laughs> out of the building, Correct. why build him up as the big surprise mystery guest partner? The second the music hits and they're like, who's the guest, who's the guest? Dang! Dang, dang, yeah, and then it dang, rains. Boo! <laughs> of right, course! Right. Why the hell would they do that? It was right, stupid. Right. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, fellas? How you doing, man? Um, I want to know, uh, what, what what are you guys' thoughts of the uh, tag team uh, uh, division now, and where do you see it going? And um, after Sting's uh, interview he did uh, after all uh, last night, and the fans did the uh, uh, We Won Taker Sting chant. Could it possibly uh, happen at SummerSlam? SummerSlam, no. no it's not gonna. It's not gonna be Summer. If it was gonna happen, it would be WrestleMania. It would be 32, and he he seems open to doing that. Even though it seems like he wants to be done, but I think he would. It, from the sounds of what he said, he's willing to do that, absolutely. When I, he is. Let me just say this. When I watched the Sting interview last night on the network, it seemed like he was willing to do anything WWE asked. Yes. Um, he thinks but he's done because he thinks they don't want he him. Th- he do thinks that. WWE, it was kind of They're a one, done and with done, him now, yeah. one and done type deal at WrestleMania. That was it. But he's open to doing things. Now, when the fans last night on the network started chanting, you know, Undertaker, Undertaker. Yeah, he wanted Taker this year. He just didn't go that way. That's yeah. what everybody wants to see. So, I would say, and, and not only that, but it seems like we're only going to see The Undertaker once a year uh, from now on. I mean, the guy's just beat up, he's old, and but he can still... I don't think from now on, I think next year's it. I think that's yeah. what helps sells that building out, is right. it's this big retirement match, and then retirement who match, do they right. give him? And my idea, I think I brought it up on the pre-show, I don't know if you've heard it yet. Hey, you gotta do Sting. That's the match that everybody I wants, I think you do man. a Brock Lesnar rematch, and Brock is the champion again by then. Yeah. And then the question is, and well, if gets the title's revenge. on the line, right. and Taker's career's on the line, well, Taker's not going to win the title because he's not going to be around full time. Right. So the shocking moment is Taker wins. Holy right. shit! But then he retires as champion. Then he retires as champion. And that's champion. what shocks yeah. everybody. And yeah. that's what sells the tickets because people are like, "Well, we're either going to see Taker become champion and return full time, right? Which is not going to happen. But you you get him in the building that way, or right. Taker loses at WrestleMania twice to the same guy. Yeah. And that yeah. sells your tickets. And it's in his home state of Texas. I like I mean, that. It, it works. I like that. But as far as uh, nostalgia is concerned, that's the match. Uh, that's, it's that's almost the match criminal if they don't do that match while right. they're both still right. physically good enough to do wrestling. Physically able to do yes. it. Right. All right. Thanks for the call, bro. I appreciate it. All right. Um. That about does it, man. I mean, we finished up Raw. We, got we Raw, finished we got up WrestleMania. Uh, WrestleMania. Talk about the Austin issues. Uh, CJ Parker, we talked about that. We talked about the was released earlier thing. today. Um, one thing, quick. one thing I do want to yeah. say is, uh, 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 wait a minute. But I want to my server. All right, I know a lot of servers. Every you, server, yeah. Every website on the internet has been going down. This is the first time I've been with a new company. I signed with them about eight months it ago. Pretty good, right? I left my old company. I don't want to mention them. I don't want to get yeah. They were terrible. All right. They're this cheaters. Is the, this cheaters. is the first. <laughs> this is the first WrestleMania <laughs> in years. <laughs> I think I have been down from from this entire week. I've been down for about two minutes. Earlier today, right before WZR, I went down for about a minute. They're and they a tiger's had it. cousin. They had it right back up. Also, on WrestleMania Sunday night, I went down for about two minutes tops. I was right back up. Hostico.com. H-O-S-T-I-C-O.com. They are awesome. They are amazing. When I submit a ticket, they are on it within a matter of minutes. 
haven't been down at all, WZROnline.com. Also, 29,000 unique visitors yesterday. WZROnline.com. That's almost half what MMA News did yesterday. 29,000 different <laughs> people. 29,000 different people <clears throat> visited. We had over 100,000 page views yesterday alone. <clears throat> Amazing. It, 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 fucking awesome. You so, did more page views. <coughs> I know it's been busy. I know it's been. I know it's been busy. Um, just you know, over over the last week or two, and it's going to continue to stay busy. But over twenty nine thousand different people on WZROnline.com. It's not a record. Uh, I think two years ago we had like thirty one or thirty two thousand, but we were very close to an all time record yesterday. So it was awesome. I made. Would it be top three? I made, top I, five. I don't, I don't talk about what I make, but I made close to four hundred dollars in one day yesterday. Pretty fucking good. I would have inflated that number. It's not as impressive. It's not as impressive, but it's in honest, one, though. He in told one me day, earlier the exact number, and it's like ten bucks away from what he said. But yeah, uh, it's uh, oh, very honest. But yeah. four hundred dollars in twenty-four my, hours. Uh, pretty fucking good. My day. last thing was going to be. Well, I just almost did. Um, and I just forgot what I was going to say. You gonna puke? <laughs> no, I was gonna ask you predictions for uh, Saturday. It's actually during the day. It's in yeah. Fairfax, Virginia. UFC Fight Night main event: Chad Mendez against Ricardo Lamas. Okay. Uh, and and there's a decent fight or two on the undercard, but I, I can't think of them off the top of my head. I've been so focused on Aldo McGregor and the Rousey stuff. Uh, but Al Mendez and, and Lamas has big implications on Aldo McGregor because whoever wins Aldo McGregor, please let it be McGregor. <laughs> will probably fight the winner of Mendez Lamas. Who do you pick? Ricardo Lamas, Chad Mendez. Go Mendez. I gotta go Mendez too. Mendes. Yeah. Gotta go Chad Mendez. So and Mendez has already fought Aldo twice and lost twice. First time he got knocked out with that turnaround knee to the face, knocked him out. Second fight was just a, a month or two ago and it was a fucking war. Um so that's the kind of fight that warrants a rematch. So they could sell Aldo Mendez a third time, uh, if he looks good against Lamas. Right. But, uh, yeah, it's in Fairfax, Virginia. It's going to take place, like, at 1 p.m. or some shit. Hmm. And I think the, uh, the, the the whole reason they're doing that is, is kind of a little involved. I'll do it quick. Is because they want to find out how it performs in America. Because that is a perfect time for Dublin, Ireland, which has a big stadium, which would be a WrestleMania show, called Crook Park. But that Crook Park has a curfew. You have to be, your your show's got to be done by, I forget the exact number, and you guys are going to tell me the number, and I'm going to be stupid because I'm wrong. Let's say it's 11 p.m., and UFC's like, well, we can't be done by 11 p.m. because our pay-per-view doesn't start till 10, So and they don't want to jack their time back to go to Crook Park, even though if they bring Conor McGregor there, they could sell... What is so special about Crook Park? It's a stadium show. It would okay. be the biggest attendance in UFC history. To now, to date, the biggest attendance in UFC history was Rogers Center in Toronto. Which was like fifty five, sixty thousand or something. They could sell like a hundred thousand tickets or eighty thousand, whatever the big ass number is in Crook Park in Dublin, and they would do it because Dublin's insane for Conor McGregor. You put Conor McGregor on that show, you're selling out not only are you selling out, you're selling out in minutes. Mm -hmm. So the problem is that stadium refuses to have a show go past eleven PM. Mm -hmm. So what UFC is doing is testing out the waters to see how the T V audience and and the viewing pattern does it work doing a show during the day in America to have it be prime time, but over by eleven in All right. Dublin, All right. where they want to go to Crook Park. So we kind of find that out this week. <laughs> Back to wrestling, John Morgan. You make a great eye comparison. Sixty-five thousand at the Rogers Center. I'm sorry. You make a great good. comparison, man. It's like anybody that works in retail on Black Friday, you deserve all the credit in the world because it's so. Fucking busy. Yeah, that's mania it is for us. Ridiculous. Yeah. This is WrestleMania for us. It is so busy. There is so much news. There's no way that we can get all the news. And we all cover the tweets, MMA too. All the photos. And yeah. MMA too. All the we photos. We do the webmaster work, the it's journalist work. Uh, yeah. Especially with Twitter these days, where you've got every superstar and their mother and their father and all their the media, aunt, the and interviews their, they do. Yeah. And, and posting photos and everything else so we missed a ton of shit there's no way you can get it all you can't. but yeah. but Not we do person. our best and there's been 50 60 damn near 70 posts yesterday on the website so we've been trying our best well, I'm i know we're near that that's you yeah. i know I that you like guys the last have been checking back on a daily basis it has been awesome our traffic has been great the last couple of days 
the amount of news has been off the freaking charts. Uh, SmackDown is just now starting. Fuck me. It's about 7.30 Eastern time out yeah. in California, so it's just now starting. If you want to wait up for SmackDown tonight, you're going to be here until about 2.30 a.m. before you get spoil. Uh, .com. Full spoilers, but WZROnline.com. Uh, full spoilers, it's going to be about 2, 2.30 a.m. I'll be here. I know Boone will be here. we got to get the spoilers up. Yeah. Very little sleep the last couple of days for I both of us. I slept four or five hours a night the last three, four nights in a row. It hasn't been... I'm a cranky motherfucker <laughs> when I don't sleep good. Hasn't, so, yeah. hasn't been a lot of sleep Although uh, I around, around here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hasn't been a lot of sleep <laughs> around here. We've been trying our best. We've been working hard. You guys have been checking back. Much respect to the WZR Army. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Um... We'll see you guys next Tuesday night. Next Tuesday night. 8 to 10 Eastern Time. If you like what you heard tonight, right. if you're a first time listener, you got to tune back in every Tuesday night. 8 to 10 Eastern yeah, Time. We're not as cranky as WZR yeah, online. Yeah, we're usually better. A little bit of sleep. You Maybe know, you're better. going a little bit of sleep and you get a little bit cranky. But yeah. what are you going to do? Anyways, yeah. it's my brother right here. It's my brother. And uh, we will see you guys next Tuesday night, 8 yes, to 10 will. Eastern Time. That's me. This is Ryan Clark. That's that guy right there. See you next Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. WZR Online. Duck Motherfucking Duck Boom! I got the money in the bank.